Hello, everyone, and welcome back to. Oh no, your face is. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I need to practice. Oh god, I. Maybe I should duck. Sam yeah, likes should, to do the should. the mouth thing. I need to like duck them all. <laughs> welcome back to a spoopy edition of Tilted Table, everyone. Yeah. We are very excited for tonight for a couple reasons. One, it's the return of fan favorite guest Dan Lee. Woohoo! What's up, guys? And it is our first of two streams in our back to back Giltober. That's right, it's Giltober. Back to back to back. Spoopy games. Spoopy so games! Tonight, we're going to be playing a game that we've streamed a couple times. It's the perfect time of year to bring it back. It is Mysterium. Now, some of you may already know how to play yeah, because you've yeah, yeah. played it yourself or you've seen the stream, but Danley here has never played before. So we are permanently replacing Sam on the stream. Oh. Uh, and instead of Sam Sluice, we will now have Danley Deduces. So take it away. Tell us what this game is about. All right, so I'm going to take a look at this box. I like the ambient nature of the clouds and this mysterious vibe that it has. It kind of has like this whole like house on a hill kind of feeling of, you know, like Rocky Horror Picture Show kind of thing. Um, but, I don't know. <clears throat> it could be some sort of mysterious game. Um, reminds me of some sort of like, maybe like Betrayal on House of the Hill or whatever. What was that game called? Yeah, yeah. Betrayal House on the Hill. Yeah, so maybe there's some, some interesting Cthulhu-esque things potentially, or maybe it's just mostly ghost-like stuff. Because with the blues and the apparitions, it seems something similar to that. Yeah, um, looking forward to it. It looks like we're travelers going into this town, trying to figure out the mystery behind this town. I guess that'd be a great way to look at it. Yo, what's up, Vorpal War? All right, so that's the call. That's how Danley deduced it. Yeah. That's a good uh, Yeah. Well, they can't see the clock now. Maybe move oh. it out farther left so that it's in front of the screen, but not the clock. Then we can't see the screen. What's the clock? That's true. The Where's clock the is clock? there. Oh, It'll be for you to manage, clock. but it's just kind of there for ah, them, ah. for everyone to see. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, purple boy. There we go. We like them. We'll do that. There you go. All right, so we're going to find out how to play the game right now because yes. Danley doesn't know what he's doing. I don't know anything. Um, <laughs> chat. I mean, it sounded okay to me. I played once, Yeah. Um, but I was bad. pretty intoxicated. No, it's a pretty time. easy game. Chat, you're going to be helping us tonight. We're going to play the four-player version, which is one ghost and three mediums. Medium. 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 Yeah, medium. That's right. More you like all. A medium, I'd say. Schmeeding. Yeah, like Schmeeding. Yeah. Medium. Schmeeding. Yeah. You're you're more of a small, but we'll count you as a medium for tonight. Okay. Thank you. We're averaging. Sounds good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, so this Don't is a this is a cooperative game, so we're all going to be helping each other. So chat, you're going to have your own uh, player, and but you're also going to be able to help us make decisions for any of the decisions that need to be made, because we're all in this together. <gasps> Yo, Def! <gasps> Woo! Wow, thank you for the 200 biddies, and because you cheered, it shared rewards to three other people in chat, which That's is pretty so freaking cool. amazing. So thanks for sharing those rewards. Oh, before we dive into the game, could we ask Danley to uh, hype himself for anyone yes. who might not have met him before? Yeah, if you don't know Danley. Hey guys, I'm Danley. Nice to meet you guys. I actually work with uh, Sam. We're on the same team. DJ Flo. And we're also doing a friendly competition to whoever could get to 1,000 followers first. Uh, I think I'm in the lead by like two or three followers, <gasps> which is actually pretty exciting. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this will be my third appearance I think on so, board yeah. games. Yes. So yeah. it's been great. This is I my think you've been me twice. Been you twice, but yeah. now I am Sam for the third time. Very cool. And now we get to play together. Woohoo! I'm so excited. It's true. We've really upgraded the stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, DJ Fluff is in Japan for the yes. next two weeks, so yes. that's why we can all be mean to him, because he's having a wonderful time without us, yes. and he deserves it. He but, will also be streaming live in Japan as well, so go catch him 
probably after the stream because he'll probably be online. It's midday for him over there. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll be in Japan next Friday. Are you gonna stream with him? Uh, I don't see why not. I probably could go and see him. Maybe we do some squad. You should. You should. Oh my yeah, gosh, squad stream. Yeah. She's squad IRL cool. streaming in Japan. I thought you had to be a partner to squad stream. We're testing yeah. squad stream. There, I mean. Well, you've got Julia with you though. Make LG do it. Also, I'm pretty sure that they could just give it to themselves. You know, staff don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Staff don't abuse I'm not their saying powers. anything here. Staff <laughs> don't come into my chat at 12 o'clock at night and say if I don't end my stream and go to sleep, they're gonna run an ad for all my viewers. Yeah, That's nobody DJ does that. Fluff Sam. Hey, but. Affiliates get ad revenue now, so there's a positive. Yeah. Great, thanks for the 35 cents. Please test our <laughs> ad platform. Yeah, Sam's paying you 35 cents to go to bed. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this game. Woohoo! Mysterium is, I like to describe Mysterium as Dixit Clue. So if you've played Dixit, you know that there's going to be great art. There's going to be a lot of cards to look at um, and compare. And if you've played Clue, which hopefully most of you have, uh, you know that there's going to be a person, a place, and a weapon that we're going to be trying to figure out. Now, the way this works is Guilty is yeah. dead. <gasps> yep. And uh, Rip. she, as a ghost, is going to be communicating with us mediums to try and communicate what happened to her and to some other murders around town. So each of the three of us, Danley, myself, and you chat, are going to be attempting to solve a murder, a different murder. They're all unique, there's no overlap. One of those three murders will be Guilty's murder. Mm -hmm. Now, at the near the end of the game, if we are able to solve all three murders, then there will be sort of a final round where we will try and figure out which of the three is guilty. And she doesn't have to decide now, she'll decide later. So we'll get more into that as we get to the end of the game. Um, how this game is going to work is behind the screen, guilty has three sets of cards that none of us are able to look at. Um, and each of those sets of cards assigns one person, one location, and one weapon to each of the three players. Uh, we're playing with blue, white, and black as our player colors. And so uh, if you have not already done that, feel free to do that. Um, there are six possibilities in each category. So three of them will be real uh, cards that belong to one of us, and three of them will not. Now, on a given round, Guilty as the ghost, who cannot talk and can only communicate through cards. You can talk to chat, but you can't talk about the game. So uh, you can go- This was a trap. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't talk? See, chat, what you didn't hear because we weren't able to do the pre-show is that I debated Guilty by giving her the choice, oh. whether it was me as the ghost or her as the ghost. Mm. And it's kind of like, do you want the door you already have or the new door? And she swapped and screwed herself. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> oh. That's supposed to work <laughs> in her I favor, draw. though. I know. It backfired this time. Oh, she no. No. Okay. Um, so the way this is, I the way this is going to work you. is uh, at any given time, Guilty's going to have, have a hand of seven cards that she draws from a deck that she has behind the screen. Uh, they're nice big cards with art on them. And on each turn, she's going to give each of the three of us one or more cards that she thinks uh, aligns with the card that we're currently trying to guess. So, for example, if I have the chef dude, Guilty might give me some cards that evoke a chef or some object in the card or something like that. So here's an example of a chef, right? What do you mean if you have him? Yes. So what does that mean? You are separating out the three columns of cards right now. Yes. Right? So the top card in the column is the person. So if the person what? in my column is the chef, that oh, is the I one that I'm trying to guess. Is... Yeah, so you want to be able to see the cards. No, it's fine. I just yeah. I put the... Uh... 
Oh, you put them in the wrong the order. Bottom level and the top level, and like, uh, you're a what? So now? you chose the chef because you think. Just as an example. Okay. I'm, I'm just giving an example. So if the chef was in my column back there, I see. Then she might give me some cards that visually relate to this to help me try and guess it. And if it was not. And if it was not, then she would give it some other ones. And the point is, I'm supposed to look at just the images and try and guess which card I think she's trying to get me to go after. Got and it. then if I'm correct, then in the next round, I could move on to location and she gives me clues for locations. So the clues that the ghost gives in any given round only apply to the card you're currently trying to guess and have nothing to do with the other cards that you will later guess or have already guessed. I see. Right? Um, we all start guessing a person. There can be no overlap, but we can both guess the same card if we're both convinced that it is our card. Okay. We can disagree. That's okay. totally fine. Um, and every time Guilty gives out cards, she will draw back up to seven. So she'll give me, say, two cards. She'll draw back up to seven. Then she'll give Danley maybe three cards. She'll draw back to seven. And then maybe because she knows that chat is way better than us, she'll only give us one card for chat, maybe. Who knows? Um, she could even give all seven uh, if that was helpful. Um, now, sometimes you have a bad hand of cards as the ghost. So the ghost has a tool to help with that. There are three ravens on the top of Guilty's board. Yes. Throughout the game, you can, making the appropriate raven noises. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, pull one of the ravens off your board and put it down behind the board somewhere. And that uses one of your three redraws. So you get rid of your entire hand of seven, draw a new hand. Oh, so these are my mulligans. Yes, th you get three mulligans throughout the entire game. That mulligan includes birds. the final I'm round. So keep that in mind. Okay. Um, okay. Now, one other element that I want to talk about here is once people have placed their guess, so like let's say we have three guesses out on the table, and we'll move things around to help chat see what the guesses are and stuff like that, there are these clairvoyance tokens. Now, the clairvoyance tokens are split into two types. There is an X and a check mark. And there's three of each type. Danley, you broke it. I didn't oh. do it. It was definitely you broke it. not me. Danley's breaking it. I blame oh, Danley. No. It's okay. I get blamed to him. Here we go. Here, we'll try that again and make sure I fixed it. I think it was just too close, so it was like trying to. Fo oh. Oh no. no. All right, we're just not gonna we're not gonna put those tokens on there. The cards were working. Anyways. Um, so we can use these to guess on other people's guesses. So let's say, Danley, you're, maybe you're the black player and you think you're basically the demon barber uh, is what it looks like. So you might put your piece there and I'd be like, you know what, Danley, I think you're right. And so then I would go and put my check mark on there. Okay. Um, and if multiple people guess the same card, that's why they are kind of pointy, so you can point at which one it applies to. I see. To. So we choose the character we want to be. And then everybody else tries to guess if they think you're right. And the reason that that is valuable is every correct clairvoyance token you place gets you a point. Okay. And points are valuable because at the end of the game, depending on how many points you get, it lets you see more cards in the final round. I'll just say that. Getting more points is good. That's really all you need to know right now. Okay. Um, you only have six tokens, but you get them back at the start of the fourth round. So uh, in the first three rounds, you should endeavor to spend all six, which really in a, or sorry, in a, can you check the rules really quick and see if we even use all six in a four player, in a game? Four player game? It might just be four. But anyways, you want to use all the ones you have um, in order to, Get because you get them all back anyways, and there's no penalty for being wrong other than not getting so the all three rounds use all four uh, a cr spread across the three rounds spread across the three rounds you yeah you once you spend them you don't use. get them back until the beginning of our four. now is it just the character that you choose but also the locations that you choose later and all the weapons that you choose as well so do I have to save it for those as well uh yes yes yeah, so the the way it works is like 
uh, let's say we've all guessed, right? And let's say you're right and I'm wrong and chat's right. So you and chat would collect your people, I would go back, and then in the next round, Guilty would give you clues for locations and give me clues for people. I see. And then the Until I get it I right. See. Okay, okay. All right, that's... Um, I don't see something in here about right. how many. Let me find it really quick. Right, I'm Show. on that page. Yeah. Supposedly. Um, By the way, D means Dan. J means Jordan. Uh, it is C okay. means chat. chat. Yeah. Yeah. It's chat. All right, so it is four. So, so you guys we, are playing with us. We ditch. I've got snacks behind my shield. All right, uh, so chat, nice uh, would you like to be the but there'll be ghost snacks. white character or the black character? Which color would you like to be? Or the blue one. Oh, did Danley choose blue? Did I choose blue? I stole blue. Ha uh, ha. Wow. Just like how you Now, chat, you can be blue if you want. It's fine. I'm trying to debate them into picking blue now that I took it away and gave it to them. Oh, see? Okay, I see. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> These are the pieces, by the way. That is how you do. Right, this camera needs to tilt down a little bit. So that's the more camera sweet. should actually be a Those little snacks. bit higher. It can be. We just gotta. There we go. Like balloons. They are little cute balloons. <laughs> yeah. So we have those three colors. Chat can be whatever color they want. What would you like to be, Danley? If chat doesn't pick fast enough, you're gonna get it. White. <gasps> uh, okay, I'm taking blue. Too slow, chat. <laughs> All right. All right, so uh, everybody's player piece starts here at the bottom. Now, uh, we're gonna go ahead and... Red for chat. We're gonna go ahead and while... Um, while Guilty is thinking about her first cards, uh, as a, a few reminders for you as the ghost, uh, you do not have to give out the cards in any particular order. So if you have a hand that's really good for a particular player who hasn't gotten cards yet, you can give it to them. Um, you have to give all of your cards for a specific player at once. So it's like, maybe with the seven cards you have in your hand, you're like, these cards really go with the card that Danley's trying to guess. So you'll, get, you'll pick some cards out of that, give to Danley, draw back up to seven. Then the next one, maybe you're like, uh, this these cards I think will work better for chat. So, but it doesn't have to be the same order every time. As you just give cards to the three, player, the three players until they all have cards, and then we try and figure it out. And um, how many do you get per round? Anywhere from one to seven, it is your choice. One to seven, my yep. choice, okay. So sometimes it's good to give multiple cards so you can try and link concepts together across the cards. Um, other times that you have a card where it very clearly, it, the imagery very clearly links to one of the cards. Uh, my only tip as a ghost is try not to overly rely on color, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. more importantly, um, Keep in mind the three cards that you didn't pick so you know what those have on them so you're not sending us astray by accident, right? You have three cards that belong to the three of us. You have three more that belong to no one. You have them behind your screen. They're worth looking at while you're giving clues just to make sure that you're avoiding giving clues that lead to those cards. Mm, you mean the rest of those? Yeah, so like there's six here. Got it. You, you only want to direct us at the three that we want. All right, and one so, of them is guilty. No, yes, they're all guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, no, who are um, these characters, by the way? Oh, these are just Can these I are us. Seven? These are us. Yeah. Let's see, so this is uh, this is me. No, this is yeah. chat. Oh, you're right. This is chat. Chat. Yep. This is you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, they have little bios in the book. Do you want to read them? Their bios. Sure. Well, maybe just. You guys are Conrad McDowell. Ooh, he's Scottish. You must read it in Scottish. Your, I don't know how to do Scottish. <laughs> Specialty <laughs> is uh, crystal gazing. His nationality is Scottish. Conrad is a, that, I don't know how to do Scottish, but I could do British, I think. Conrad is a wealthy Scottish nobleman of Clan McDowell, which traces his ancestries back through 17 generations. At the age of 18, he inherited his grandmother's Moira's crystal ball. Despite a promising academic record and the prospect of brilliant military career, he instead chose a path as a crystal-gazing clairvoyant. 
Here's your here's your tip for for Scottish. Hey, hey Marty. Hey. Marty's my friend. Hi, oh. Marty Chaos. Hey, just, a friend just of family. Fake, fake a fake a British accent, then cut off half the words early and oh mumble gosh. at the same time. Oh gosh. He's basically Scottish. <laughs> that is hot. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, done. Can't. Yep, uh, got, uh, it. Uh, got it. Uh, got it. Uh, got it. Uh, done. Good. You guys are clairvoyant. <laughs> you like looking at Chris. You guys Olaf. look at crystal balls. All right, chat. Uh, okay, wow. so I'm making you guess your people first. This, no. This crystal ball. We don't place any guesses till you've given us clues. Well, no, but I'm. what am I giving you clues for? So you're trying to get us to guess the, the correct cards according to what you have behind okay. your screen. Okay, right. It's just confusing because my people are top row and yours are bottom row. Yeah, that's because... the but you're working your way yeah. up and yep. I'm working my way down. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, meet in the middle. So while middle. you're thinking about the first set of cards you want to give out to give you time to think, we're going to show all of these six cards to chat so they know which people we're playing with. So we got a nice lady with a bonnet. By the way, chat, if you guys did not know, you guys are playing with us as the third player. That's yes, why this is so pay attention. We need your help. Red, right. red hair with the bonnet. Yes, there's a bell and some, she looks like she likes to cook. She also sew, looks like maybe. she, no, well, this is definitely cooking. There's no sewing. Oh, is here. that, what are these? Like jams? Those are like jams. Things? Okay. <laughs> cool. All right, and there's coins. The second one is a chef. Who also likes to cook. He does like to cook. Maybe they're in cahoots with <gasps> each other. There's a spoon. He's got a sweet goatee. We have a monocle man, but he's a man of great honor. He also has a sword too, and medals. He might be part of the military and such. What flag is that, by the way? Did anyone play GeoCities? Or yeah, Geo? someone tell us what flag that is. That could come in handy. All right. We also have the old lady with the ball of yarn and some keys. She looks very strict. She might be a crazy cat lady. Yeah, crazy cat lady. We don't know anybody like that. We have a guy <laughs> that's wearing a stethoscope with a needle, a first aid kit that's too small to be useful for anyone, and then a medical bag. Mm -hmm. And some sort of plier thing, but the medical version of that. And then we have Edward Scissorhands. I was thinking, uh... So I get to draw back up as I play? The other dude. Um, Sweeney Todd. Todd. Sweeney Todd, yeah. yes. Sweeney the Todd. other creepy dude that Johnny Depp played. Yes. There were only two, surely. But he definitely is some sort of barber. Yeah. He has a shaving knife, scissors, some shaving cream, and a brush. So, so Jordan, you said I draw back up as I play? Yeah, so basically if you want to give me like three cards, that you would give them all to me, and then you would draw back up after you've handed the cards out. Who's which color? Uh, I am blue, and am Danley white. is white, and chat is black. black. You can also just say which color it belongs to, and if that we'll helps. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we choose our first character that we believe it is to be, Based, or we get the as notes. the clue. Uh, yeah, we always get the clues first. Got it. Yep. Say? All right, Danley, what's this from? We're having weed tests for Danley. Undertale. You think, is this from Undertale? Can chat confirm? Is this from, is this from Undertale? Chat, you're getting one. Yeah! She's very confident. Chat's only getting one clue. Chat is only getting one clue. I think the other one ones clue. will just be distracting. Yeah, all right. Distractors. Oh, I don't know what's up with our green screen today. It's because I'm giving you cards from Beyond the Veil. No, there's something else weird about it. I'm, I'll have to mess with it in a sec. It's like the, mind. oh, it's the autofocus. We could turn off autofocus. Yeah, no, I meant to do that, but then, then the computer restarted on mm. us. I will yeah, put my hold, hand hold that there for a sec while I fix it. What do you guys think? That's okay, Dav. It reminds, this reminds me of some sort of persona. Mm. Mm. Do, 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 do. Took off that autofocus. Now it should be fine. Is it focused in the right place? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. What? Seriously? 
what are you doing? What are you doing, camera? This was working and then we restarted and now it's not working. Is pink really the best color? Yeah, it usually is. Interesting. Vorpal Vord knows all about bright this. Bright pink or bright green? Um, I think something's messed up with the lighting, maybe. Here, let's try. I am three on three on the games. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, three on three on the music things. There, that might nice. work. Uh, no. <laughs> more worked. Uh, uh. What? Yes, I think this works. You, you're not going to hold the light there the whole time, though. I will not, but I can use it for now. No. Okay, let me redraw and keep thinking about you All right, guys. well, as you guys, as Jordan is figuring this out, this looks like a character from Persona 5. <laughs> it's Joker. He's wearing a mask. There is a salamander, and he is riding some sort of train to somewhere. He's speeding across different cacti. And it, the, either it is, oh, he has a lantern on, so I would assume it's sunset. So, chat, what would you like to think this would be as a hint for who this character is? Uh, who should we choose as a, uh, your character? Is that correct? Choosing yeah. your character? So we have a dude in a mask. We have somebody in a top, a black Top hat. Um, there's a train involved. Some sort of salamander. Um, now this is a cooperative thing, correct? So yeah, we can yeah, help yeah. No, we can all help. Um, I mean, the chef has a similar shaped hat, but that's kind of it. I think that's there might um, be something meta going on here. Like, oh, let's think about what this person's profession could be. Maybe he's wearing a hat because he needed to get a haircut. <laughs> do I only give you clues on one at a time? Oh uh, no, you can give us the rest of the clues so we can start thinking about As soon as you have them ready, just pass them over. So would all these clues... This clu is blue. This is for blue, I see. So... We'll recap some of these together, right? Like... Ah, uh, the hat does match. I see. It could be as right. simple as that. But, you know, witch doctors have some... So this guy also has a Yeah, he nose. kind of has that witch doctor and mask to it. So it could be something with the doctor profession. Um, I don't see anything else in particular. What do you think, chat? Anything standing out to you? <laughs> At the th I can't think of anything for the salamander. Um, well, I mean, salamanders are like poisons, right? So maybe the doctor would relate to a little bit more. That's true. You wouldn't eat a salamander. You wouldn't go and purchase a salamander. Are there any details in these pictures that imply, like, transit in any way? Vehicles? No. If anything, here's a map. Yeah. And I want to see what these photos are of this woman. Nothing I see. In particular, I and think there's no lamps or anything like that. My vote for chat is to think of the doctor. All right. Well, we'll come back to that one. We'll work okay. on this we'll one come next. Back in a little bit. We have this umbrella holding. Uh, the umbrella itself is raining as it hangs from the moon, oh, and we yeah. have uh, some sort of devil demon. Death crone thing like picking apples. Some sort of death eater of some sort, or a, uh, a what are those called? Grim Reapers. Yep. Um, Holding an apple, so this is very, very weeby, like from <laughs> Death Note. I mean, the apple makes me think one of the food characters, but I'm trying to figure out how the umbrella fits in. Um, so these are your two hints. For right, this was this was mine, right? Guilty. One. This was mine. This is for blue. Okay. 
And this one was for chat, the first yes, one? Yes, this was chat. Here, we'll put that with them so we can Oh, you could do this. This yeah. is kind of cool. Yeah. I have a little bucket. Yeah, uh -huh. Th that's how we keep track of the ones we got right, actually. I see. Oh, you put oh them in these, there. I see. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see. What are related about these two things? We're Not a lot that I can see, so I'm trying to... What happens if it's like acid rain and it rained down on this 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 world and now that the the apples are rotting, there's only the last few apples that this Grim Reaper who loves to eat apples has to eat. I don't um, know, this is very meta. And he also oh, has a pet actually, snake. Actually, wait a minute. The moon is circular and the apples are circular and there's a food relation. So that kind of makes me think, like the moon makes me think of the uh, jam containers on this lady who's also a food lady, mm. right? Mm. So, um, but he has a pet snake, or she has a pet snake. It has a pet snake. It's true, it does have a pet snake. But I don't see how snakes are related to anything here. Um, my first, my initial thought is to go for food the frustration lady. frustration from our yeah, ghost. Yeah, being a ghost is fun. Being a ghost is fun. <laughs> Um, is everything also, about being a ghost is just WTFing all the time. One plus one is three? That's right. Because we're that good. Um, a plus. What happens if, like, Grim Reaper means some sort of death? And could then be. the moon could be very similar to the handle of the sword because it's a crescent moon, which is the shape of the sword. That's true. That's not bad. And an umbrella is like a, a handle device. Yes, exactly. Um, I'm not sure I buy death. this connection, but I definitely, like if we had this alone, I would really buy that connection. I'm not sure how to tie this one in. What are your top picks so far while we, then we can move to the next I, I mean, my top picks are the lady and I like your theory with that. I'm not sure. We'll look at some of these other ones real quick. So we have the the yarn lady with the keys, which I don't see a big relationship with, unless the snake is yarn, right? There's a leash, I don't know. But then I don't know how to tie it to that one. Hmm. I wish I knew how the dead, you know, how, how the guilt, ghost is how, thinking, how, yeah. The, how That's part thinks. of the game. But sadly she's dead. Yeah. And I can't talk to her in any way. Yeah, yeah. And you have just understood the entire game. I get it now. Uh, so we have the doctor here. Um, he's got his stethoscope. First aid. I'm not seeing a lot of connections to this one. Uh, we have the chef, right? Daff also feels like they don't Doesn't think see much with the, the lady. lady. Okay. There's also Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. My vote is for this guy, but we could we could hold yeah. off. I mean, we we don't have to lock it in. We can do right. tentatives. Shall we move to the next uh, set of hints? And then we'll look at this one again. So this this one is my favorite, just because it ties in the food and kind of the shape of the moon. But I like your theory about the saber. So so by the way, is our goal to figure out who guilty is? So not right now. Okay. Our goal is to just, just get, get a correct points. guess on all three turns. I see. All three of us. Are we all competing against each other? No. Or are we competing no, it is against? cooperative. It's all cooperative. It Got is it. cooperative. You want everyone to get the highest score possible. I see. Okay. Yes. Cool. Good to know. Yes. In fact, if someone doesn't make it to the end by the end of uh, seven rounds, we all lose. Oh, ho, ho. I got three I, we hits. Have three cards. So there's gears. Right? There's gears here. Oh, here you go. Um, there is gears, rubble, a springs, bicycle, or it's a unicycle on a bridge with a knight, dueling knights in the background. It looks like there's dueling uh, Pegasus with dueling dragons. Yeah. Because there's flying, different flying beasts. And then there's a I think this one's actually upside down. So this yeah. is a chair. It's a chair with some flying doors. I feel like the chair and the doors are some sort of... These are really cool hints, by the way. I like them um, a lot. So to me, with this, I feel like there's something with tools. Tools yeah. related to a chair. I was thinking tools related to a vehicle because of the wheel. 
The wheel is very throwing me off. If it was just these two, I would try to vote for Sweeney Todd due to the fact that there's tools and a chair, something that a barber would yeah. usually have. Oh. However, now that there's this- What's up, Time Roller? Added, yeah, what I'm thinking is, man, our green screen is really misbehaving today. Uh, what I'm thinking is the lady with the yarn because she has keys, which would go to a vehicle. Um, but this is a unicycle. I know, but like conceptually, I'm thinking there's like nuts and bolts and wrenches and then a wheel. What happens if the chair? Well, the unicycle also, in context of this particular hint, is on its very, very tiny track. She, so She's also the only card that has a door in it. I see. But I believe there is a chair in the barber one. So. What I would like to think is that this signifies. Oh, no, it's definitely this one. Black and white like the hair. That, that Black is, and white that like is, the that hair. That is a good point. The barber chair and then tools because tools. Yeah, I think that's fair. I would, I would, I like the black and white deduction. I like to think of the wheel and the little plank as some sort of skill. So being very skillful with their tools while sitting on a chair, while dealing with their client on a chair, I think it has to be the Sweeney Todd guy. Yeah, cool. I would agree with so that. So that would be my choice for sure. So that takes one out of the uh, picture for everyone, so that's a good thing. So I'm gonna choose that immediately because I'm pretty confident about this piece. All right, so back to chat. We have your guess, or your hint, which is this guy on a train wearing a mask with a salamander going mm -hmm. somewhere across a desert. And it could be just as simple as the top hat. It could be. That's possible. There we go. Chair with the doctor for death. That was talking about the. Uh, oh, okay. The so last one. We have a salamander that's running as fast as the train, by the way. As fast as the train. It is very fast. Okay, so out of the other choices. We have the old lady with the little top hat with the yarn. Yep. We have the man with military man with the saber. We have the doctor with the stethoscope. Mm -hmm. and the first aid kit that's too tiny for it to be useful. Um, we have the chef. And the lady with the bonnet. Chat, what would you think it would be? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it might be as simple as the hat. I do like the hat. I can't find anything that is particularly any other character. But also if you're thinking hat, you have to think the chef hat is a better shape. But it's but. not the shape of a top hat. It's true. And like with the character kind of like, or with the hint, the yeah. particular character. She only gave us one card, so. Holding the hat. Very, very. We should go with like the most simple explanation we can think of. I always go for meta. I'm just kidding. Um, um, my vote would be for the bonnet hat, but we could always come back. How about yours, Jordan? I am still. With these two, I'm still really leaning toward Chef uh, or salad. either the lady who likes food um, and has the bell and the coins and whatnot. It's or, also probably the most frustrating. Oh, she's to. also wearing a bonnet. She's also wearing a bonnet, which is kind of like the hood that the, the cowl. The cowl. Yeah. So there's like a shape symbolism here. Um, and then yeah. the other one that I'm leaning toward is this one, which I think works really well with the moon and the umbrella, but not so well with but the other one. But it could be. It could mean death. It could. Yeah. So. Chat, what do you think? Do you think it's the bonnet wearing lady who likes food and has moon shaped jars of jam? Or is it the um, soldier dude with the saber that looks like the moon mm -hmm. and could kind of be the umbrella as well? I like Danley peeking through these two cards. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the cups so we have more green screen room to work with. 
Oh man, your ghost look, your hand look, your finger looks so ghostly. That's where I put it over here, chat. They do. They're like, whoa. <laughs> Too weird. Doctor Death. Doctor could mean death, but then there's this this other card. Yeah, if it's the if it's the Death Doctor, what's the relationship to the umbrella that's raining from the moon? Tough. Well, you know my vote. I still think it's the military man. You know yeah. what else is tough? Not Being big. a ghost. Opening this. Opening this. Good it's, thing it's you have uh, a very manly danly. I don't know. Thank you, it just rhymed. Danley. And I'm going to close it really, really tight. Dang it! <laughs> yeah, close it tighter than it was. Would it work? No. Um, Appreciate it. You're welcome. Get extra hints next uh, time. I am leaning toward the bonnet lady now that I thought of the connection with the cowl. Okay. All right. Well, it is your your choice. Um, if you disagree with me, this is an opportunity for you to get points with the clairvoyance tokens. So um, that means I could choose Jeff to Taru disagree with you, right? is asking if there's a right? guy with a rifle. Uh, there is no guy with a rifle with an umbrella. That's the umbrella. Sword. Yeah, there's a guy with a sword. Well, I think, I think, oh, with the sword. Yeah, so that is what Danley was voting for, was that the sword, the sa the handle matches the shape of the moon, and then the umbrella itself is like the blade. Um, but I'm not, and then the, this is basically just symbolic of death. That's the argument that he's making. And I think it's a good argument. There, there, like is, a there argument also is a gun oh, there is with a, a little gun. soldier van. That's true. Weeb argument. Weeb logic. Weeb logic. Over 9,000. Strength over 9,000. It's tough. What do you think, Daftaro? Do you think it's Saber Dude or do you think it's Bonnet Food Lady? Saber Dude. I'm Wolverine. Saber Dude. <laughs> National Park Service tweeted or Instagrammed a picture of um, of what <laughs> prairie dogs the other day, where the caption was Alan, 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 Alan. Oh. Wait, that's Steve. Steve. <gasps> Steve. All right, uh, and then we also still need to figure out chat. All right, Daph says she uh, agrees with Dan. All right, I'm gonna go with it. I think they're both Bye -bye. valid. Base. So, oh no. We did great. We you made ruined the it, Danny. Work. <laughs> Daph and oh I ruined gosh, it. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Daph is the really? same color. Yeah, I, what is going on with that? Something. It's been really weird I, today. Mm... Nick. I'm very confused. Blame Jordan. I'm very confused by it because we. All right. Well, I blame Sam because if Sam was here, we wouldn't have this issue. The last thing is, chat. You got to make true. your decision about. Ah, it's probably that. I, I'm really thinking it's the bonnet lady. It might be just as simple as that. True facts. True facts about the stream. Blame Jordan. Blame Jordan. Always number one. There. No, the neon pink. <laughs> right? Yeah, for those of you that don't know, we got the idea for the neon pink from Vorpal Board, who perfected it in a much better format than what we're doing. I just need to turn this down a little bit so that my fingers don't show up weird. Wait, but I like my fingernails being little galaxies. You wanted spoopy fingers? Mm hmm Spoopy right. fingers. I think that we may actually have it working now. Does that look okay? Spoopy fingers. All right, <laughs> so this is what we're leaning towards for chat. Uh, definitely let us know what you Manly's think. Manly's leaning towards. If you have white balance. Yeah, I'm exactly. Yeah, we, we had auto white balance on because every time we restart the computer, Logitech resets all their camera settings because they're stupid. Thank you, Vorpal Board. You and that's what I just fixed. Nice. You are there were like three things on auto, and we Turned unchecked them, them one yeah, at a time. Auto it, yeah. That makes sense. All right, well, Jordan, what do you vote for then? I'm okay with this. 
I don't necessarily, I'm probably going to vote against it to try and get points and hedge my bet, but it is the best idea that I have. Isn't that also a strategy? Can we just vote something completely wrong? That is not how you uh, play co op no, games. No, you actually, <laughs> it's, it's also bad to just vote wrong because uh, the earlier you get all three of them, you get points for how many rounds are remaining. I see. So you being the one to finish faster means you get more points, and that's helpful to everyone. I see, I see. Okay. So, like, ideally, everyone finishes really quickly and gets a few guesses right. Daph says that she thinks this is okay. All right. Then let's go for it. <laughs> it's, this is co-op, not competitive. Sure. All right. So... Sure. Quick recap, because mm -hmm. chat needs to place their clairvoyance tokens. This is important chat. So for Danley, <coughs> he thinks, you wanna pull your cards up? Yes. Danley thinks that he is the barber. So he has the chair with doors, cause there's a chair. He has the nuts and bolts and wrench and whatever, cause there's tools. And then he has the black and white theme of that card to match the hair. And also skill for the unicycling yeah. on this plank. Now chat, you have four clairvoyance tokens to spread across three rounds. So you can, if you choose, either guess, yes, I think Danley's correct, or no, I think Danley's incorrect. Now, I am guessing the so saber dude to go with my umbrella that's raining and death, I'm so basically. Dead. Um, so again, if you think I am correct or incorrect, you can, uh, place a clairvoyance token. Oh no. If you're Dang not, it. if you're not sure, <laughs> if you're really not sure whether it's correct or incorrect, if you could kind of go either way, it is probably best to save a clairvoyance token for now. Danley just debated me into dancing and then he was And he wasn't on the camera? The, yeah. Yeah. Nailed it. All right. <laughs> So, hey, hey Frolicking Fox. So, Frolicking Fox thinks Danley is correct. Um, I too think Danley is correct. Only time Frolicking Fox shows Daftaro up. Daftaro also thinks Danley's Danley is correct. Uh -huh. I can it's see true. Which one it's of true. Us is your favorite. Yeah, Frolicking Fox is stalking Danley confirmed. <laughs> I would like to believe that Chad is correct. Danley wants to okay. believe. Not Chad, I mean, Jordan Sorry. is correct. Here's your turn. Oh, these are my tokens? Okay. Sure. Um, I think chat is wrong. Why is there numbers on the back? What does that mean? Uh, doesn't matter right now. Okay. Yep. Uh, I think chat is wrong. So I am going to vote against chat uh, just to hedge my bets. I think Jordan is correct. Can I make myself correct? Mm -mm. Damn it. <laughs> you do not have to place both votes if you're like not sure. I am not confident about chat, but it'd be funny to vote against Jordan. <laughs> it would be. I will vote against Jordan. All right. What, that's and the check side. Yeah, oh, wait, he, he's saying sorry. no, and I'm oh, saying he, yes. So he's he's voting ah, for chat and against my prediction. I see. Yeah. So that way, at least someone's getting a point. Someone's getting a point. All right. So I think everyone's placed their bets. Chat's going to save theirs for future rounds, it sounded like. All right. Oh, great oh, ghost. No. This is what happens. Table flips. Yeah, and you can you can actually decide how you want to communicate this. In the standard game, a lot of people like to do one knock, two knocks with the mics. That's probably not great. So if you I want could, to, we could we could you could we ASMR. Can't knock with the mic. You could also, I mean, you could also like take this as an opportunity to say something in a spooky voice, whatever you want. Anyways, yeah. what we essentially need are yes or no answers, one at a time. So we'll ask you one, okay. and then you can give us the answer. So, oh, great ghost. Is Danley the demon barber? <laughs> Woohoo! All right, Danley. Success. Give Chat and myself a point on our scoreboard. Woohoo! We finally get to board. use it. And Danley goes to move up to the locations. Now, now that Danley has gotten it correct. Oh, it goes in his little pocket. It goes in his little pocket. Aha. Uh -huh. Like so? It's got pockets. And he can discard all of the clues that he got because they're no longer relevant. I see, so that's why I get to move ahead. I get it. Ah, yep, all right. No. Oh, great spirit. 
Am I the saber dude? Yes. Yes. Woo! We did it. Good job, chat and Danley from sa for saving me from a bad decision. I like, I like how Paul is saying, uh, saying chat and Danley first choice. That's right. Uh, Danley predicted my correctness, so he now gets a point. Yes. With his spent clairvoyance token. Uh -oh, Could I just that's... keep this mic? Can do you want to? Can you guys share uh, that one? Yeah. Put it like angle in. Oh God. Why don't we just point it right? Chat. Let us know if you're having trouble hearing anyone. I just stole one of the microphones because most, I wanted most. it. Testing, testing. One, yeah. two, three. Because I wanted to. As long as you can hear Danley, it's fine. Because I know I talk loud. I guess the only difference is it kind of looks weird in that spot. Um. Well, we could also put Actually, it here and point it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. Just pass it under that way carefully. I'll feed you some more cable if you run out. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Are you <coughs> ingesting cable? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because I know Chad will be able to hear me no matter where right, I am. Perfect. Or... I think we're in a perfect spot. All right, perfect. Um, all all right. right. Last one. And let me set these aside. Where did I put chats? All right. Oh, great spirit! His chat, the old spinster lady. This is still Undertale, by the way. I didn't hear what you said. Y'all are noobs. Good I heard good. you're all noobs, so I'm gonna assume no. Good, good. Get good. Get good. That's right. Point for me. Damn. <laughs> Cause I voted against chat. They were wrong. Aw, darn. So give me my point, Danny. I might be a thief. You're a thief. It's okay. We split the difference here. Yeah, and I'm in the lead in this co-op game. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But what this does mean is because two Don't people Jordan win. because two people got it right. Uh, let me pull mine out of the way. Demand a recount. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my clues. Um, chat gets to keep their clue because it may be helpful. Guilty may give a clue that builds on the clue that she was trying to give before, or she may abandon that clue seeing that we didn't get it at all and give us something totally different. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove, I'm gonna flip over the one that we know is wrong, and now there are only three that we have to figure out, which uh, while you can go ahead and start thinking, you don't have to give them the clue first, you can start giving location clues if you want. Do I get rid of these? Uh, or do I have to keep them? You yeah, around, you just around. keep drawing back up. Yep. So I, okay. Yeah. Um, I so, never fully exhaust my hand unless I put down seven clues or use a raven. Correct. Yep. So yeah, you will have some potentially bad cards, but the bad cards might become useful now that they're locations, right? So. Yeah. Um, uh, let's look at that. So chat. Oh, oh, we boy. gotta start the splits. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna hide it. <laughs> we never remember splits without Sam. Yeah. Basically. Aha. There, look, it was there the whole time. It was actually the tip cup. <laughs> All right, so chat, here are your three. You have the chef, the bonnet lady, and the um, doctor. doctor. Sam is in or on his way to Japan. Hi friends, I'm you, Sam. Cooler <laughs> yeah, Sam. actually, Sam's right here, hiding behind the green screen. False lies. So you have those three to choose lies. from. Lies. And your first clue was this one. Now, what I was thinking, personally, is that the thing Danley mentioned about the mask being kind of like a plague mask like a means doctor. that maybe it's the doctor. But we'll see how these clues come in. Uh, in the meantime, let's start looking at these locations. I'll just leave those there for you to access. All right, so locations are here. We have six locations. Every card type, is there's six of them in this particular difficulty level. We have uh, what looks like an indoor garden area with like a lion fountain. 
Okay. And a wheelbarrow. Okay. We have a... Wait, that's definitely a cemetery. What? That's a, that's a tombstone. Is it? That's no. A, no, no, wait, no, that's a no. fountain. That's a fountain. Yeah. You're right. It's a fountain in, like, the middle it, it's of... It's, like, in a uh, greenhouse. Greenhouse, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. I wasn't wrong. Okay, my bad. I looked at her incorrectly. I my mean, bad. I'm wrong a lot, but I wasn't wrong that time. Blame Jordan. Um, one rule. We have a pool with an umbrella. <laughs> there is Man, too bad we use that card. Uh, and Crows a chair, inside. some uh, whatever those life rings. Buoys. Not buoys. Oh. They're, rings. Yeah, they're like Loadies. lifeguard rings, but I don't know what the actual term is. Um, the water is very, very moldy. We have a... Laboratory? No, this is a brewery. It's a cellar. It's a cellar, yes. Which, which may has... also be some sort of laboratory thing. We have some lab equipment. Um, we also have some barrels, uh, a few tools, uh, what looks like a volleyball, uh, some stairs, etc. Broom. We have a bathroom. A very fancy old school bathroom with a pitcher and what looks like an urn and some statues. We have a workshop. Pup time! Pup time! I got a pup time sticker at TwitchCon and it was awesome. Yeah! I got sticker bombed in I the know. middle of the con floor. I heard about it. It was great. Mm -hmm. um, so this is some sort of wood workshop where they're building a uh, toy car and they've got some other stuff. There's looks like a, it's that a, looks like a, a jackhammer. Pump. Oh, it's a tire pump. Oh yeah, because of the tire. <laughs> Not a jackhammer. There's a shovel, a lantern, some other tools. Definitely a workshop garage. And finally, we have what looks to be like a veranda. Um, with, with an a umbrella. Rocking chair. An umbrella, a, another pitcher, some birds. Burbs. 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 A burb, a well of burbs, a burbs, a burb, burb, burbs, burbs. I where's, tweeted that out when we were playing the, Wingspan, oh, I see it. and Guilty was not amused. Burbs. I was like, that's I the perfect song. played Wingspan like three times this weekend, and it was incredible. Yeah? Yeah. We brought it up to... Oregon, where I went for a long weekend to nice. see some friendos who just got a house, and they have so many cool birds around, and they were super into it, and it was great. Got some clues for us, Ghosty? I do. I have some clues for White. All right, that would be Danley. Danley. Yes. And they float over. You didn't see anything. Ooh, She's going to start chucking them in a slow motion. All right. So we see two hints. So this looks like a gigantic cuckoo clock tower. It, is, it looks like some sort of tower. Cuckoo. There are, it's also, also a tree. Scrolls. Yes, there's some sort of And fruit. a ladder. There's something about, like, knowledge. And then... There's th a cuckoo clock bird. Yeah. Definitely. And this is basically, like, irons connected by rope. I, they look like kunai, because I'm a weeb. Yeah. Um, yeah. Connected with rope. <laughs> along a river. So both of these kind of signal some sort of tool to me. The wood and the ladder reminds me of like woodworking of some sort. Mm, there are birds in a couple of these pieces. There's birds here. I really like this one, actually. There's also a bird here. Mm -hmm. Those are the two my mind jumps to. Um, but the first one you grabbed is my favorite. Or this else? guy? No, this no. one. Okay. You put them yeah, back oh, yes, together. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you why. One, the um, branches in the background of this one mimic the branches coming that's out of the top very of the good, That's tower. a very good. That's a very good. The forest in the background mimics the forest in the background of this one, um, and there could definitely be like a foggy river coming through here. And that's kind of that's kind of where it stopped. But that's that's the f oh, and then the birds, bird, bird, right? Bird, bird, burb, there's burbs. burbs. We know Guilty um, likes burbs. I do like burbs. So that's that's where my first instinct goes for that one. There is like some sort of stepladder in this piece. Right here on the side. 
which is very that's there true. Is there's a ladder, a ladder over here, but yeah. there's no bird. There's also steps in this one, which could be like the ladder. There is a tool here, which doesn't mean much. Yeah. Mm, I don't really see too many similarity on this piece. Okay. We're to look Feel at free these. to give us more clues if you have them ready. Other Just two pieces. Because we're we'll deliberate for a while. Mm. I don't see any similarities here in particular. Other than ladder stairs. Ladder with stairs and wood with wood. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, uh, the flask. The flask? Oh, there the is a flask in the back. So that one's possible. But um, there's a minimal. Oh, no, actually, a the ropey thing. The rope is a so chain. this is a really good one. That's a pretty good one, so, too. So uh, I that one, I think, is tied with the other one as my favorites right now. Okay, and then the last one is this guy. Which wood, and wood, wood and wood is the only thing. Like tools, there's maybe. There's a chain. There's the other a one chain. has a much there's, better there chain. There are two chains. Yeah. Two, two chains. Two chains? They are lanterns, which this could be like lanterns covered mm -hmm. in something. So. I really do like what you said about the trees and the, the atmospheric thing over here. The birds really help. I'm still failing to see the connection between this piece and this piece. Might For me, the it's forest. the forest. For me, the forest is the big thing. Um, that's the main part. No, there's a ship here, which could mean the water. That could be reasonable. That's also true. Okay. Well, I'm going to think about it a little bit. Yeah. All right, next two hints. We got some, well, we don't know how many there are. Or next, maybe it's, next, next maybe it's six hints. cards. Whoa, who's this for? Just two. No, four, it's three. three. Who's it for? Blue. for it's blue. for blue. For blue. All right, so blue yeah. has uh, literal catfish in a jar, or bunny fish. I'm not really sure. Squirrelfish. Squirrelfish. Squirrel I don't know. Catfish. Uh, and then a mouse with some sort of fruit. It also on has branches. Kind of like a bramble look. Um, there's also a broom and a kite at sea with a boat. Oh. That's very interesting. Uh, and then there's a forest with a bear coming out of it. So it looks like a bear mountain. This one, at first, makes me think of the cellar a little bit because the jar could be like the flask. There is a broom in this one. Um, and But that's kind of where it ends. Don't forget that this piece has a boat yes, in it. Yes, that one has a boat in it. It also has a forest. Um, yes. I'm not sure the how to... The umbrella with the rain. I guess the brambles could be like the branches as a possibility. I'm not, I'm not super big on the catfish one. Maybe the birds eat the catfish things. Maybe. Um, there's also... The branches off this branch there. There's also this piece, which is most interesting for me. There's the broom without the bristles here. That's a rake. Or a broom <laughs> without the bristles. A rake is just a broom without bristles. Yes, that's what it is. Uh, but then, And it does connect to both the brambles and the, like, forestry type stuff. There's water because they're in a jar. There's a lot of water and there's a fountain. So that could be possible. Hard to decide. Uh, could also be this, maybe. Forest in the background. The water. The water. I'm not sure how the catfish would really fit with this one, Unless though. this umbrella is with this water here. The water could be just this water. Yeah. Um, and then the trees would be the trees back here. But then I would, wouldn't see the point in adding this card. She would just give us that because it already has the water. All right. So she, she gave us three cards to try and tie three elements together. You need to not forget, sometimes the answer is something obvious. Yeah. That's something I never think about, the obvious answer. Exactly. Um, for this one, I am leaning toward... The middle of the table. The um, greenhouse. I do like the greenhouse one. The greenhouse or the one with the ship on it. But don't forget that I also am leaning towards more with the one on the ship yeah, because I'll, of the tree. Though for years, I'm starting to lean towards this one. Because of the flask. It's the, also possible. The flask and the chains and... Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, lots of things. Shall we go for the next one? We yes. Also think Let's about see it what more. chat's getting. And feel free to throw ideas out here, chat. We're just spitballing. 
Mm. Ooh. Books stacked on top of each other as a pyramid. There is a chain in the background here. But well, we're on people. Oh, this is people. Oh. Yeah, because this is for chat. Yes, there is a book. There are books stacked as a pyramid. And then there is a rat with poison. Ah, and poison, a huh? And it's almost like doctors read books. Doctors read books. What do you think, chat? We've got rat poison and books, which also goes with the first card that was given. The witch doctor. Which is sort of the witch doctor riding a train. I like doctor a lot. I like doctor a lot. And so too. does Daftaru. So I think we should lock chat in unless they end up changing their mind. Yeah, Daff also. We'll go ahead and doctor. put that for now. All right, good job, Daff. I think that was, uh, I think Guilty got some excellent cards for that one and is much happier. Perfect. Hopefully, unless right. we got it wrong. So back to our decision. I really like this one, personally. But I do think for you, it's probably down to these two. Don't forget also, like there is this jug of water, which could also mean flask in some manner mm -hmm. um it's very difficult to decide i like the the boat here you're not going to choose this one right uh because you're leaning towards more of the greenhouse yeah i'm leaning towards greenhouse in this one i think the boat tie is better for me than it is for you i think so too and i like the fact that there's more wood in this piece and the flask relates there. Yeah. It's just the water and the oh the chains. Oh, the chains. I, I think, think the chains so. are very visible. I would go with that too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna vote for this guy. The 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 only reservation I have about this one is that a lot of the rest of it, like the birds and stuff, don't really apply. But there is wood There's related and there is that things. one flask. So it's a little tenuous, but it is but I really like how it ties to this one a lot. I'll take it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're voting for... Thank you, Streamlabs. <laughs> All right. We're bringing it out, chat. Bring it out. Bring out your dead. We got the uh, broom in a storm with a kite and a boat and birds. There are burbs. Um, and there's a little bottle floating. Uh, we have... Catfish in a barrel with brambles and a mouse. Oh, oh. And we have a bear roaring out of the woods, which is kind of like a lion fountain. Fair. There is a lion in this fountain. So we have we have a the greenhouse ties nicely between the bear and the lion. It ties nicely between the brambles and all the foliage. 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 Uh, and then we have the, this is the worst one, but I guess the water and the fountain, and then the rake is kind of like a broom. Yes, I would I would vote for this guy um, a bit more this, than this guy. Just to recap though, this one, you have the forest in the background, plus the bear forest. Yes. Because again, remember, it's not like she has a million forests to choose from. Yes. Uh, then you have the boat and the boat. Yes. Um, which is a fairly good tie, and there's birds in both. This one is the one where it kind of falls apart for me. Well, you know what? Like maybe the bird likes to where eat the, the mice and fish. Right. Boat. I think because it is so tenuous, it makes me want to do the greenhouse. All right, I'm down with that. And Daftar is also it. saying the greenhouse and fountain. All right, let's vote for that. So I'm going to vote for that. Um, all right. So to recap, uh, we have the doctor. Uh, which Chad is choosing, and I'm going to go ahead and put my clairvoyance token on it and say I think they are correct this time around after voting against them last time. I'm trying to really optimize my clairvoyance. I see, I see what you're trying to do. Um, so are you going to place it on there? Oh, she, Wait, said, she said yes. Don't, oh, okay. You I guess, said you were doing it. Well, we didn't ask Oh Great Spirit, and Danley uh, didn't I, get to place his vote. Well, I, don't, okay. I only could vote no. Oh, okay, so Danley wasn't going to vote no, and I did say I was putting mine. Yes, you right. did say. So Well, we'll, we'll come it. back to it, but yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Um, then we have me and the garden. Now, chat, you definitely want to place at least one clairvoyance 
uh, on this on this <laughs> round. I just slide right off. Yeah, it did. <laughs> uh, chat has two Just no's me. and a yes left. Um, and then you have Dan Lee and the uh, Apologies. seller. The seller with the lab equipment. It's like yeah. breaking bad. Uh, now for me, I only have a no left, so I am going to save it for the next round because I actually think Dan Lee is correct on this one. Uh, chat, you can... If you think one of us is likely to be wrong, um, you can do that. Otherwise, you should probably just pick which one of us you think is most likely to be correct and put your yes on that one. Yes, Influx. Yo, Influx, what's up? Would you like to vote on a yes Deftaro or no? says vote no on me. Okay. <laughs> Was I supposed to move uh, it from one she, to even two? Even though Daftaro... Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah thank we're you. on two now. Even though Daftaro said, like, Ooh. no to... Uh, I said, cho chose that card. Yeah, I mean, that's hedging your bets. <laughs> that's how it works. You could also vote no if you didn't I think could, I was right. I could. Um, um, yeah, I, I could be overthinking it. Exactly. Uh, Daft, do you think that Danley is correct or incorrect, or do you want to save both tokens for the next round? Remember, you would have to use them both next round if you save them. You would have to use it. You would have to use it. Then I'm going to vote no for Jordan as well. All right, you're voting no against me. All right, I think Influx is voting that Danley is correct with... Uh, where are your clues? These cool. two right here. Oh, these two clues. Daftar is saying save both. So I, I think it's... So, I, I, I think saving both is probably a good play because... We could be wrong. It's kind of I'm on the fence. I think we're right. I'm. I don't think you're wrong enough that I want to use my last token. I don't think you're wrong enough either. I don't know why. I'm voting I usually that. overthink things. This is true. All right. Cool. I'm down. I'm, I'm a much just, better. I'm, I'm, I'm a committing. much better ghost than I am a guesser. All right. All right so chat's saving their tokens. All right. Oh, oh great spirit. spirit! Is chat the demon barber of what? Twitch Street? No. That was Dan. Witch doctor. With the lady oh, yeah, sorry. Kit. That I, doesn't yeah. help anyone. I like to demon Barbara of Twitch. Yes. Chat, nice. you were correct. And Jordan gets a point. And I get a point because I was correct. Rigged. Does Chat get another point or did they not get a point last time? No. Either? You don't get a point for getting it right. You get a point for clairvoyance tokens. Okay. Wow. Your points for getting things right happen when you get all three and then you calculate the number of remaining rounds. Let's do oh. mine before Jordan. Yeah, chat's always right. Chat's all right. Always right. Oh, great spirit. Is Dan Lee in a cellar? Yes. Yes. He got it right. I'm glad I didn't use my no. Success. So you can mm -hmm. take that and you move on up. Da -na -na -na. All right. Oh, oh, great, great spirit. spirit. <laughs> Is Jordan correct? Am I in a greenhouse? <laughs> Don't let Jordan win. No. Yes. <laughs> All right. I was wrong, which means that Chat and Danley both get a point. Well played, everyone. I give that to Daph. Yeah. Good job, Daff. Excellent vote. What is this? What is what? Music Master. Uh, I don't know. It's like it, creepy carousel music? It is creepy carousel music, but I'm trying to figure out which game would it be from. Or, or show. <laughs> or show. Or sh oh, All right. I thought you were saying it was a thing called or show. Or show. Yeah, it's like orzo. Ah, All right, delicious. so we are done with people. Woohoo! Which means we can move everything closer. I am also done with people. Yes. Because I am dead. Aww. Aww. I mean, you're not done with people because you have to deal with us. Dang so it. it's like the worst of both worlds. Medium. This Us medium. sucks. The only people you can com communicate with for the rest of time <laughs> are Jordan are us. and Dan. Yeah. That's rough. I don't know what and this it's, is. It's I've like never heard of you can before. communicate with chat, but you have to communicate with chat through us. Through. Or chat. Or through emotes. Yeah. We've been talking. We've yeah, been talking back and forth. Okay. All right. We need some new clues. So. Oh, it we'll, was not this anymore. So we know. Well, that. it could be for chat. Oh, though. for chat. We yes. don't. We have no That's idea. That's true. Um. So, 
while our ghost is thinking up some clues, let's go over the weapons that Danley's going to be choosing between. The murder <laughs> weapon? Is this the murder weapon? Yes. We have a hammer, a statuette, a vase, a pistol, some doctor tools, poison, a poison, uh, and that clock. <laughs> oh, also, we are on round three. If you would update it, please. The, this clock. Yep, that's the clock. What are these things? Uh, it's just normally that's where you put the spent tokens. Uh, it's like a repository for them. Okay. So um, those are the weapons. Jordan, you guessed you were where? I guessed I was in the greenhouse, and I was wrong. Can you point to it? Okay. Yep. So I know I am not that. I will not guess it again, I promise. <laughs> Chat might guess it. Who knows? The tools looks like a chest. Tools look like a chest. <laughs> it's more like a case of tools of for poison. Don't forget chat. Oh god. It's a very pink case. <sighs> what? Wait, I'm, I'm gonna inject Danley. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> The one downside what of green screening the... is that yeah. in a game like this, every color gets used because it is a gorgeous game with amazing art. Mm. It is a but gorgeous game with amazing art. Thankfully, pink is rare enough that when there is pink, you're just like, oh, well, I can see through this part. It's clearly a, a wave of pink, you know? It's not a big deal. All right. Are you These are taking my for... points away? Oh, you're just gonna make it clear. Oh go. yeah, I'm winning. That's what he's making clear. No. These are for Jordan. I have an extra clue that involves crosses and birds. Birds. And he, uh, some sort of walkway to a shack in a forest. Um, it's like a pit. What is it? I mean, that makes me want to go to our second choice, which is the burbs and this kind of walkway off into the forest. It's not, there's not like a clearly defined walkway, but it kind of gives the appearance That really of works it. with the boat. And it works with the boat and it works with the uh, forest. This backfires. Oops, you guys can't see it. This is the boat and the forest. Uh, I still have no idea what this one is, but I guess the brambles are kind of like the curly branches. Yeah, I would, I would, I would think it's that. So I'm leaning towards this one. I'm gonna review the other ones though while we get more clues in. I'm gonna look at these and then we can talk about them. All right, next set of clues, okay. please. Oh, great ghost. I need more clues. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the forest one seems right then. Yeah, okay. Like, I don't think it's the workshop, because there's not much tying it to workshop. There's a lot of outdoors stuff. Um, it's same for the bathroom. The bathroom is indoors, but this is all outdoorsy pictures. Uh, so it's got to be either the veranda or the pool. And the pool has a bird. It has some trees. Um, but this one has the right color birds. No, I'm I'm double checking. I I'm still very confident that this one is correct. I'm Sounds just good. I'm trying to talk this through to see if there are just connections case, to all the cards. Just in case. Yeah. Sometimes you, you know, sometimes you dismiss a card with your first set of clues, and then it ends up being correct. Yes. What are these? Oh, because you got it right. Case, yes. Because you good. Oh boy. Yeah, this I'm actually just gonna go ahead and vote for that, and we'll see what chat gets. Okay. Or maybe Danley's getting clues next. Who knows? Find out next time. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, so when does a uh, guilty 
When can Guilty use the Whenever card? she needs and what to. what does that mean? The re mulligan? It, yeah, it's mulligan her hand. Yeah, I don't like any of these. With sound effects? Caw -caw, motherfucker! Uh, yeah. <laughs> Caw -caw, motherfucker. That's right. I don't like these. So do you draw the same amount of what's left? Uh, you so. just discard your whole hand and draw back up to seven. Oh, draw back up to seven. Yep. So you get more hands. Well, no. you always draw back up to seven. Even after you give out clues. Oh, even after you give out clues. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Got it. Yes. Oh, okay. That's a little better. Thinking, thinking hard. And we're all going to spend all of our clairvoyance tokens. Chat has a right and a wrong, which is probably in a really good spot for them because... I have a higher chance of being right, and Danley's starting with brand new clues, so he might get it wrong this time around. Who would be, what would, what, what would a murder weapon be for someone that is a barber in a for, cellar? Why would he be in a keep, cellar in the first yeah, place? Keeping in mind that there's no rhyme or reason to them being together, because they were all dealt randomly. Yeah, it's okay, well, we can figure that out. I know, uh, it's clearly the statuette. It has to be the gun. It's the clock. He tore. The reason that there's no clock on the wall in that cellar is because he tore it off the wall and used it to bash someone's head in. Yes. Sure. Because you need a clock in the cellar. Sure. I guess that would work. You need a calendar in a cellar. You know how this person died? They ran out of time. Boo. <laughs> Does, Wait, it, does that sound like a, a thing that, like, the hero detective would deliver in, like, a B-movie? Like yes. a murder mystery? Yes. Yeah. Props to you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I could totally write a B-movie murder mystery. Ready. We'll see him at the next uh, film festival. Yeah. Start. All right. I'm just... In. That should Wailing. be my next roleplay character. Is detective a, a, Jordan. A silly, overly dramatic noir detective who narrates his own stuff. Didn't you play that in the marketing game? Oh, kind, yeah. My, sort of. My concept was Something a... Something mysteries. It was a uh, solve-your-own-mystery kit. Mm. Was, we were a detective agency whose premium product was basically we didn't do any work and we just sent you like a magnifying glass. <laughs> solve your own mystery. Solve All right. Mystery. These are for... That was a black. great stream. That's chat. Right? Chat. 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 Chat, this is your chance Good to catch luck, up. Chat. You have an apple with needles in it. That's very a pink. Pedestal. You uh -oh. have a very, very... It's okay. There's worms climbing the side of the pedestal. Uh, there's a couple black butterflies. There's a skull on top of another pedestal. And oh, it looks like a pink tentacle pink in the pulse. background. Yeah. It's fine, though. It's ghostly. It's a ghostly one. Yeah. It's just extra spoopy. Your next hint is a stairway with a gate with footprints, a teddy bear, a lantern, and it's raining out. Wet footprints. Okay. And your third and final clue is Mr. Scrooge McMousemick. Scrooge McMouse, yeah. Scrooge Who has an abacus. McMousemick. He has an abacus for his little tiny And paws. an umbrella. There is oh. also, maybe this is a perspective shot because there's also people in the background. Is there an umbrella? That's not an umbrella, it's a cane. In the background. Oh, they're like tents, oh. maybe? Why are there so many umbrellas in this game? So, I, my first thought is that this gateway and the tent in the background make me think of the pool, but I'm not sure how to bring the apple in. Well, the apple also is like pedestals. This gate also reminds oh, me of this thing. Oh, and there's like the... Pillars of the fence. Very true. It could be. Well, okay. there, what I would vote this guy out. I don't think it's the tool shed in any. You don't manner. think it's the tool shed? Mm, I don't see there's any. There's no. Reason. There's no mouse with a top hat in the tool shed. Uh, sadly, there is not. Um, what about a poison apple with worms? Although there is a lantern with a lantern. Yeah. And okay. a lantern with another lantern. Okay. But there's no teddy bear. 
But yeah. the teddy bear could ride could in the car. Could be like a toy. And it could be... Okay. So this one works really well with this one, but the other two, not so much. Not so much of the other ones, yes. This kind of looks like a pitchfork. But... And there's a shovel here. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm just... I'm stretching to see That's what stretch. could fit. That's definitely stretching. Um, but I don't see anything for the, the apple needles pedestal. in the apple. Maybe not so much. There's a Other butterfly. than like tools, I guess. Maybe, yes. Maybe not. Huh. We'll think about right. that. Bath tub. Um... Gates and apples. Hmm. Gates and apples. I mean, the style of the pillar. I don't know. I I don't really see that. Um, that mouse is so fancy. He probably bathes in a bathtub this fancy. While eating um, his golden apple with needles in it. Yeah. And he um, walked home. And, he and that's his front door. And he needed a bath because, like, he came home wet. In the snow, and lost his teddy bear. Meta. Yeah, it works if you can tell a story about it, right? All right. Uh, we also have the previously rejected greenhouse, which is not mine, but could be yours. Um, with the lion fountain. It could be his greenhouse, and like butterflies aren't greenhouses. Yeah. Um, There's no lantern. No, I'm thinking like the iron working in the back of the greenhouse could is the kind iron, of like the iron of working. The, yeah. yeah, that's fair. Um, a rat and a lion are both animals, but otherwise I don't see a huge connection Unless here. Unless the cat and the mouse kind This of trident looking thing is kind of like the rake, but that's really stretching it. Um, yeah. Podium statue. Iron that's true, both. yeah. There is Lance a statue here and you have this, the pillar. That's a, that's a pretty good one. So it kind of sounds like we're leaning towards one of these two. Uh, I'll show people this one as well. This is the one I'm voting for. You could vote for it if you think it's mine. Danley's eating the apple. It, you know it's poisoned, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> I have Guilty poison day. I have all of the antibodies in my Um, I don't stuff. think this one really aligns all that well. There is the iron working, right? Uh, I guess if anything, maybe this this little pillar trident could work for those canopy things. Yeah. Uh, this one's hard. It's very difficult to think about. I think chat is most likely one of these two. I'm liking the pool. What do you think, chat? I'm liking Danley's face through the apple. Yeah, he was eating it earlier. I saw. <laughs> All right, we have a oh, vote so for the greenhouse. greenhouse. The apple makes it difficult. Um, is it a hard apple? Hard apple cider? That's hey. right. Man. Yeah, this is tough. I think the mouse is the most difficult part. See, I, I really like Oaf to tie to the greenhouse. I agree. I really like the tent looking things in the background as being very similar to that umbrella. Very fair. That's my, f that's the one, like as soon as I saw that card, I was like, yes. And then I kind of started trying to think, tie the other I ones. I think we should think simple, right? If there's multiple hints, it doesn't mean all of the, all of the pieces of the hint have to tie to it. Correct. Well, all of the hints will tie to it. Oh. Yes. Not every single. Correct. It's probably one element in each card, yes. most likely. So I think the gate really works well with the gate here. The tent really works really well here. And the pillar with the pillars between the That fence. could work. And That's then, where my brain is going with that one. But for this guy, it would be the metal working in the greenhouse together. The Maybe the cat and the mouse. Hey, shiny. I was thinking teddy bear with lion, maybe. Oh, oh, that's really a stretch. Teddy bear with the lion. Oh, there's the, there's the teddy bear right there. Yeah, I, I I think you're right. Iron working with iron working. Pillar with statue is what Frolicking Fox said. All rats are weird. And uh, top hats. I don't the think rat one, we're not sure on. The best I can come up with is probably this trident looking pillar next to the rat is kind of like the rake on the floor of the greenhouse. This game is the worst. <laughs> Shiny cat, you gotta help us out. This is chat's card we're trying to guess. Chat has these three clues. The uh, poison apple on a pillar with worms climbing it. 
the teddy bear outside in the snow at an ironworking gateway and the fancy mm -hmm. rat at what looks to be a carnival. Um, I am advocating for the pool with the umbrella and the ironworking fence with the little pointy tops and the pillars to match the pillar. And uh, Frolicking Fox is advocating for the greenhouse, which um, has the pillar that's kind of like a statue, has the uh, this pole that is kind of like a rake because it splits out like a trident at the top. And then it has the uh, iron working, which is kind of like the iron working in the background of the greenhouse. Rage. Yeah, we know not let we know not to let guilty talk. It's true. Uh, that's okay. Guilty's gonna get a rage moment at the end where she talks about all of the things that we got ho horribly wrong that just made her rage for the last hour. All um, of them. So, chat. What do you want to go with? Do you want to go with pool or greenhouse? Let's make a decision here. It's okay if you get it wrong. We have time, and we're all about to get our clairvoyance tokens back. Uh, we also need clues for Danley at some point. Oh, yeah, let's move on to the next one then while you guys think about it. Yeah. First one, ooh, aha, a Is slingshot with feathers. That's it. That's, That's the only clue. clue. Send tweet. Wow. Um, a slingshot with feathers what? and gun. Like pellets. It fires projectiles. That's that's, a... that's what I'm going. That's my first instinct. Is gun. But like, but, but, but you can also you can also say like the slingshot is going to break the pot. It, it could. It could break. A slingshot could break the pot. I don't think there's any other connection. I mean, you could also slingshot a hammer if you want to as ammunition. <laughs> or you can use the statue because it's stone as well, you know? Like, use the hammer to break the statue and then you get the pebbles and you can okay. shoot it out. You could also put poison yes, on whatever. Yes. It, you could inject poison so, into the projectiles. Or, and then you just want to use a claw. Wait, wait, no, you could it's... use the slingshot to launch the needle at people and it'd be long distance poisoning. Yes. Yes, I mean, um, and if you need a blunt object to just impale them on the head. It's your choice, easily. but I think I would go with gun myself. Chat has chosen definitively uh, that they want to go with the greenhouse. Okay, sounds good. All right, Dan Lee, what do you think it is? Shiny, you could definitely come in partway through because each hint is unique. Ooh, hold on. I'm gonna shoot this slingshot at Danley. It's like clue in multiple parts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> so shiny based on we the... killed Danley. Oh no! Now we need a new guest star. Oh yeah! Come back, Sam. I'm a ghost. Ah. We can talk. Jordan's alone. Yay. <laughs> Chat, that means you're stuck with me forever. So this is actually so, worst case scenario. Yeah, this is worst timeline. And you can only talk to me <laughs> worst now. timeline. Shiny, so based on the um, illustrated clues I'm giving them, they have to choose which of the locations or people or yeah. murder weapons uh, I'm talking about. Yeah. But it's only one at a time. Yeah, I actually disagree. I think this is one of the best games to jump into the middle of because you need almost no context of what's come before. You just have a clue for the current thing you're trying to guess. I would just, I'm gonna go straight forward. I'm gonna go for the gun. Gun, right. ammunition, yeah. slingshot, so, pellet, bullet. As, as Guilty was saying, we have these big image cards that are trying to get us to guess from a set of, clue, of possible options. And at this point, Danley's going for weapons. <gasps> Sorry, rip your ears. Rip them straight off your face. Um, it'll help if you wrap the cable <laughs> so under the leg, like, like kind of. This is too short. Under no, this no. leg. There. Uh -huh, that leg. There yeah, go, that works. And also, don't kick it with your feet. Like, kick it with your face. All right. So. Boom. Ta-da. Uh, so Price I think Dan Lee's going with this one because the, <laughs> as we said before, the uh, simplistic one might be the best yeah, answer. It, it's a Twitch filter. It is right? Twitch filter. Yeah. 
All right. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm so going to just vote for this guy. You can have your clue. Um, All right, so now we need to do clairvoyance tokens. I think you are correct. I am 50-50 between the one chat chose and the one I was advocating for, and I have to use my no token, so I'm going to vote against chat. Sorry, chat. I don't want to do the same thing to you as well. Uh, chat, you have a yes and a no. So to recap, I have five clues. A bear in a forest, catfish in a jar with brambles and a rat, the broom and kite in a storm with a ship and a bottle, the forest path leading to some sort of shack, and the white birds flying with like a volcano and crosses. And I think that that is this one. Okay, now... It'd be funny with all these clues and you were still wrong. I, it, it's, it's happened. Uh, Dan Lee has one clue, and it is the slingshot, and he thinks it is the gun, as opposed to a vase, a hammer, a statuette, a poison kit, and a clock. Now, chat, what you have to do is decide which one of us do you think is right and which one you think is wrong. In this case, even if you think we're both right or both wrong, you need to pick a yes or a no because these are use it or lose it on these tokens. So you have one check mark and one X. So that so, says one vote yes for Jordan and one vote no on Danley. All right. Thanks, chat. That's what <laughs> chat is saying. Anybody else want to agree or disagree with that? It could be the we'll, slingshot we'll that tentatively the, put those that out. The, the jar. Typically, that's what you would do. <laughs> I'm fair with that. I am going to vote no on chat. You're voting no on chat? Yes. Dan Lee might be the vase staff saying. Okay. Well, we'll, uh, yes, we'll, we'll ask about fair. chat first, just in case anyone else in chat wants to chime in on these clairvoyance tokens before we lock them right. in. All right. For chat. Oh, oh great, great spirit. <laughs> Is yes, chat in a greenhouse with a lion fountain. No. <gasps> that sounded like a no to it me. It was a no. Points on the board for Danley and Jordan. Da -na -na -na. Suck it, chat. I mean, what? I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to turn that one upside down because now both myself and chat have incorrectly guessed the greenhouse. Um, Shiny Cat also agreed to put the yes clairvoyance on myself. Uh, so since we'll go ahead and do that one next. Oh, great spirit. Is Jordan in the, the veranda. the veranda with the crows? <laughs> Was that a yes? I heard no. Okay. I heard a no. We got it wrong, chat. Oh. We got it wrong. No points for chat. So it wasn't Great. as simple as the boat. Yeah. And the Apparently branches. it was not. Okay. Um, we've got some thinking to do. All right. We got I think I, now I think I know which one mine is, but now I, I don't know. I only have three left, so I'm wrong again. The last one. Oh, great spirit. Is Dunley. A pistol. <laughs> Danley is a model to us all. Be like Danley. Yes. Yay. He's a model to us all. Danley gets it correct, which means chat loses their other clairvoyance token with no pay points. What do you mean the game favors me? Danley's the one who just <laughs> finished everything. And now Danley gets to give himself... What do I got? Four points because there are four rounds remaining in the game. Da -da 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 -da. Four points. And Suck you, it, Jordan. <laughs> and you get to keep using clairvoyance tokens. Uh -huh. This is good. Suck it, Jordan. This is very good. Um. Oh, Ghosty. Yes. Can you look in the box and find the scoring arch that we normally use? Yes. Uh, I just need to look at it to see. Yes. Some stuff for later. All right. You um, need some stuff. Some we are stuff. playing the four-player version. How many points do you have, Danley? I have five, seven. Okay. <laughs> so Danley, it now no longer matters if Danley is in a cruise any more points. Bring it on. There, you can get more points, but you have passed the final threshold you need. We all, we all need to get to seven 
to get the maximum value hey. out of the final round. So Danley's Got good em. to go. Awesome. So wait, but then if I get more points, does it matter? No. Okay, so this is just for fun. Okay. Yeah. So, it's so you can leave. Yeah. No. You see you guys. Guys. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having me. You still Yay. gotta be here for the final round though. Oh. Okay. Alright, so everyone gets their Clark Verons tokens back. Danley is done. Dun, dun, dun. And Yay. takes his gun. Yes. You're my done last with your guru. gun. I could paint a picture. And he was totally shot. I was so right. He was totally shot. You were. You guessed the gun. I guessed the gun. <laughs> he was totally shot inside the nice. cellar. All right. Who are you gonna call? All right. We need some new clues for round four. Yum. We've gotten our clairvoyance this tokens back. This is for chat. What this is chat? for chat. Mm -hmm. All right, chat. In addition to your other clues, which went where? Into the garbage. Did you toss them? I don't know. Did I? How dare you? No. I think you have them? I there's do a not. fancy mouse somewhere. Yeah, there's a fancy mouse. Where'd the fancy mouse go? Oh, here they are. <laughs> okay. I did keep them separate. So, in addition to the fancy mouse in a top hat, there's now another top hat with a cockroach. Uh, a fork? Fork, spoon. Some netting. Uh, there's a building in the background that's super hard to see because there you go. There's that's better lighting. Huh. She's really feeling the top hat. The Is top there a top hat in here somewhere that we didn't see? Maybe it means Mr. Fancy Pants and like the. But the there's lots of. Tub. This one's fancy. This one's fancy. All right. Well, let's look at the next clue. Even more fancy stuff and a tarantula. A, a giant tarantula, a chandelier, and people mummified with the tarantula. Yeah, there's also a, uh, a netting webbing theme going on here. So are we missing any spider webs or any sort of like... You just have the hanging chains in the wood shop. Caw, caw, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> She's using her second crow. I don't like these cards. So just as a review chat, in addition to those two new clues, you have Mr. Carnival Barker Mouse, um, the poor old teddy bear left out in the snow, and the apple with worms on a pillar. And one of the worms has glasses because they're super right. cute. So throwing these three aside for now, um, the... Webbing could be the chains in the wood shop, and then there's lanterns. I'm just trying to think of things. But then I don't know how the rat with the abacus in the carnival fits in with this. Or the apple on a pillar. So what did chat vote? Did they vote for this guy? No, yet? chat voted for the greenhouse. This is the one I thought it was last time. I don't know how to fit the top the hat you. and the... Yeah, so she could be trying to steer us away from our second choice, knowing that that's also wrong. Um, we do not have a shed. Oh, wait, we do have a shed. It's the... These uh, are for Jordan. Okay. okay. We have we... a shed. It's the other... Where Did you take the shed? The wood shop? No, I do not have it. Where is it? Did you flip it? Did you put it in... Oh, I have it. Okay. <laughs> I keep stealing all the cards. Uh, all right. Ha. So shall we look at Jordan's mm -hmm. cards? Yes. All right. Jordan has a crow with some sort of statuette or it's engraving. It's a quill. It's a, it looks it's like an a, ink quill. Oh, it's an ink quill, on a yes. Sign. It is an ink quill on the sign. And snow. Okay. And then you also have some sort of lighthouse, a Christmas tree, and I don't know what that is. I am so confused. I think I have to be the pool at this point. I've gotten a lot of birds. I've gotten this, this shed thing is kind of shaped like one of the trees in the background, or it could be the well, umbrella. Okay, you've gotten two of the sheds now. There's, there's a shed and right, there's Right, they're a both shaped kind of like the tree in the background. Um, so maybe it's just the rats fish, are the in fish the sheds. The fish could be swimming know. in the I pool. I see the shed and the rats. Uh, yeah. More trees to go with the trees, more water to go with the pool. 
and then the birds. I think I'm the pool. Even though I thought chat was the pool. I think I'm the pool, and Guilty specifically gave us clues that have nothing to do with the pool to keep us from guessing it for chat. But I'm not sure, but that's what I'm going to go with for now. I think these two new clues send me towards the shape of those trees because I've gotten that shape before. Also, the this card here, these little cross things are kind of like the points on top of the fence, which is what I was thinking of for chat as well. So we could have just gotten that wrong because we had two clues that were kind of similar. So that's what I'm going for. I'm just gonna go for the fancy on top of fancy. Maybe this is yeah, just what it just is. Just super fancy. Just fancy. Fancy chandelier. Fancy top hat. Top hat. Fancy uh, mouse. Fancy rat, pillar. Fancy pillar. Fancy rat and. Fancy teddy bear. Entryway. Fancy entryway. Fancy shoes. Just fancy. Hmm. I'm gonna just create the narrative. The top hat rat wanted to come home from the carnival, took a nice bath. After eating his apple, I, I can't connect the rest. He walked through his house with a chandelier, and he put his hat away on top of his cockroach. Does this one fit at all? If we look mm -hmm. at it, if we were to create a narrative around this guy, like what do we see here? There's silverware, and this has like a pitcher, I guess. Well, given like, Wait, is that a knife on the table? Yes, it's a knife with a cutting board, it seems like. Okay. But it's... Um, whoops. The chandelier spider. I'm not sure how to make that one work. Daft found a spoon. Daft did find a spoon. Um, the butterfly in this one could be like <laughs> the birds in Go the background. Go to the table. Go home. You're drunk. <laughs> what? Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It is... Actually, it might not still be live. I think it ended today. It might not be over yet. Whatever. Anyways, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. This one actually seems okay. 11 hours to go. 11 hours to 11 go. 11 hours to go. Nice. Y'all, we hit, played that last time. Did they hit 2250 yet? They hit 2716. Wow, okay. So they unlocked their special expansion that they were trying to unlock. Nice. All right, um... This kind of mimics the poles in the background of this. And oh, this also ironworking, ironworking. No, I think I like this um, one. Butterfly could be kind of like the birds in the background flying. Worms um, on the trees or maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe the flowers on the trees could be like the apple, like they're going to bloom into an apple. Uh, this one I just have no idea. And yes. then this one, knife with knife on the So I, I would definitely agree that we should definitely vote this guy out, which makes me make, this This confirms for me that Jordan should be the pool with the crow based on chat's vote, uh, chat's hints. So that might be interesting for you guys to get more points to agree points, upon him. Points, yeah, points. I, I'm really split between the two here. I really think it could be fancy or it could be like the obvious pieces with the... Metalworking. <laughs> the other option being the woodworking shop, which I think it's probably not. Web captioner just thought you said that they should get points based on the cha cha. They should get the points based on the cha cha. So, as a recap, the cha -cha. shed could be lantern. Lantern. Uh, chandelier could also be like hanging lantern. Um, <laughs> you should. The. <laughs> and then I have no idea about the fancy mouse or the apple. I like I, I like I like sh uh, Chinese narrative. Surely the spider in the chandelier mummified the mouse and let his top hat fall into the ground and then laid its eggs in the teddy bear. No, that's just my nightmare. <laughs> we don't need to write that off yet. No, that's just yeah. Chinese Tuesday. Shiny Captain is in Australia, so uh, uh, spiders do that there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, then wouldn't it be Thursday right oh, now? Fine. Oh. Daft thinks the mouse equals the shed, but there what shed? There are oh, this, this, this shed. shed. This shed. There are mice in sheds. There are, mice there are in spiders sheds. in sheds. It's possible. All right, so Daft's, Daft's voting for the shed. Does anybody else in chat want to weigh in? I actually don't have a good suggestion here. It, I, I'm going to go with fancy all of them on fancy feel on kind fancy. of like a stretch. Yeah, the fancy on fancy on fancy works pretty decently. 
Uh, but it, like... Mouse on the shed seems reasonable, but that's only one mouse. This one feels reasonable to me that as well. seems reasonable. So, All right. also the silverware in the top hat one could be like the tools hanging on the wall, I guess. You know, that. All right, um, so. So, if, unless somebody else in chat wants to pipe up with a different idea, we're gonna go with Daftaro's vote yes. on that. Um, but while chat is thinking about whether they want to put in a different vote, let's have chat vote on whether or not they think I'm right. You can do a check mark or an X and you can go ahead and put yours down for extra bonus clairvoyance points. Okay, so I actually can use those points. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they're not worth anything because you already have so many points. It's so worth. You can, can, you can get more. I'm going to vote more no points. on chat. Well, chat hasn't decided yet. But yeah. I vote yes Preemptively. on Jordan. I'm, I'm voting no on chat, not because I think that Daftar is wrong, but just because I'm so confused by chat's clues that it could... Like, we had it down to three options, so I have good odds of my no being... You know, if this was points. a murder... What shiny said? Very, Looks like very toys sets. in the shed, so teddy bear in the shed is an option. Okay. Toys okay. in the yeah. shed. Yeah. All right, let's toys just do the shed, shed and the... Uh, let's just do the shed. Okay. I'll and vote no for the shed as well. All right, I'm it's chat. Sure. Would you like to vote toys yes or no on me doing a pool jacket. for my third guess? I have a one in three chance of being correct. Because I've already guessed two things and been wrong. <laughs> Just keep trying to... Oh. Skills. Skills. Oh. Danley thinks I'm right. Does chat <laughs> agree? <laughs> Does chat agree with me? Was I correct? Or do you think I'm incorrect? To recap, here's why I think it's a pool. Storm, water in pool. Um, trees, trees in background. Fish in jar of water, pool again. Uh, forest tree thing, but also this uh, shed in the background is kind of the shape of one of the trees. Um, birds, and also the crosses in the background are kind of like the points on the fence. Um, this tower in the background, also the water, again, pool. And then uh, the bird, there's a bird. There's burb. I just think it's a bird. Yeah. Burb. I think this one's just burb. Burb. Um, All right. So uh, Dash says vote yes because I also voted yes. All right. So we're <laughs> we're bandwagoning with hey, Danley. Hey, points. Let's do it. We're all working together here. Pull with the what now? Exactly. All right. Let's start with chat. Oh, what now in the ghost. ghost. Ghost spirit. Spirit. Ghost. Spirit ghost. Ghost. Did it disagree on your Da Vinci Code period? <laughs> <laughs> Is chats in the shed? Chat should get out of the shed. No. <gasps> no. Points. Points. For me and Danley. Sorry, chat. But that's a no. I'm going back to the drawing board as we draw on the board. Mm, so if it's not if it's not the shed. Then it's, it's gotta be fancy pants or veranda, probably. Veranda. But we'll find out if I'm correct. Oh great oh, spirit! Great ghost is Jordan in a pool. Swimming the pool. Should I go fishing in the pool? Jordan's got a team you eat me. That sounded like a yes. So yes. I, I do have a teeny weeny polka dot bikini. Success. And that's points for Chat and Danley. Yes, yes. Oh, well yeah. done. All right. All right. <laughs> now that I've moved on. Danley's like, where can I, I put all of these pool? points? Yes, one more points. I'm running out of room for all these points. I'm moving on to round five. We're still doing pretty well. Wow. Chat, you're down to two choices because I took one out of the running for you, so that'll help. I can get rid of all these clues. 
So I'm going to get a clue for a weapon, and chat's going to get a clue that will tell us either it is the veranda or it is the fancy pants bathroom. These clues... As a recap, that's what chat's choosing on. Whose clues, clues are we getting? For Jordan. I get clues first. Ha! Suck it, chat. <laughs> for Jordan, you have a man, a fish man, actually. It's actually... A fish man trying to lead a woman into the mouth of a, uh, of of a fish. fish. So it's a man. Nom, so nom, it could be, you know, They're just going nom, on a date inside nom. a fish restaurant. Are you going fish? Or you know, it's like the fish. You know, like one of those fish with the little like floaty thing. It's like, ooh, very It's cute. just a really fancy seafood restaurant. Yeah. They're all about immersion. And here's your uh, second. Get out of here. <laughs> I'll be Whoa, here. Oh, oh my God. Stanley. This is very pink. <laughs> uh, uh, you actually can see this one okay, though. It is yeah, a perfect. woman's like robe. It's a pink it's robe. It's so cute. With little animals in the pocket. It's so cute. And I think there's laundry hanging in the background and some buttons. It's hard to see, but <laughs> it is very cute. Um, okay, so I have the clock, poison, a statue of a lady, a hammer, and a vase. I am initially leaning towards the statue of the lady because there is a woman in this one and then there is another person. I think the statue here. is really reasonable since the jacket is a very like big giant coat, which is what the statue woman is wearing. Right. It's like a cloak, cloak robe There thing. is a woman inside the little... There is thing. also a woman on that card, yeah. I don't see anything that relates to a clock. Are you okay with writing this off? Yeah. We'll put it back for chat. Chat, you can you can kill people with time. Mm, the, the, the vase. The vase. Not sure about that. I just, I don't know why it amuses me so much to call it a vase. The lady with the hammer is the in the fish head. There's Wait, also what? the needle. So, Shiny Cap, you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, but I described this game as basically Dixit Clue. So you're not, making Clue references is totally appropriate here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, that that's it. That is the yeah. hammer. I don't think it's the poison or the hammer. I okay. think we eliminate the rest and we are left with that. I'm down with that. So I'm going to lock in on the statue and let chat go ahead and do their thing. The yep. lady with the hammer and the fish head. Oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. So also, the question is... Daph, Daph said she'll cry if it's a bathroom. Super fancy bathroom or veranda with burbs. My, my vote is the super fancy. If we get burbs, I'm voting Veranda with burbs. Here's your first clue. It is a boy in a field with trees at some in sort the background. Of crossroads, and there's one They're person hiking. that's lost because they can't read. They're crying. The <laughs> They're crying because it's the bathroom. <laughs> your second clue is a pile of treasure. What? Oh, oh no. we, oh, oh. I'm confused. We just got <laughs> we got super fancy, and then we got forest. So we got a clue for both. Maybe, like, with all the wealth in the world, you're still depressed because money doesn't solve all your problems. More money, more problems. Uh, Meta. <laughs> I, I think maybe Guilty is just trolling Gap and giving us someone crying because it's the bathroom. <laughs> crying in the bathroom. Guilty's a troll. Uh -huh. Why would I ever do that? Um, I, I actually do like fancy bathroom plus deaf. That's deaf crying. Fancy, fancy. I like the fanciness. Poor to rich in two cards. Possibly. That's right. <laughs> I think Daph's going to cry. That's what I'm going for. All right, chat. What do you guys want to vote for? Are we veranda or fancy bathroom? Personal. Okay, let's say if we were to try to justify the veranda, there's the trees in the background. Also, well, how do we justify super wealth with Super wealth. That? I don't know what this thing is. A diaper? Oh, it's, it's actually, it's like a Pope hat, I think. Oh. But it's kind of like the sails on the ship. Sure. The veranda. Sure, let's go with that. Right? Yes. Um, butterfly bird or fancy pillar bathroom. Fancy apple. It's a golden um, apple. Don't forget, it's a golden apple. We missed that. Fancy mouse, fancy bathroom. Yes. Uh, there's water bathtub. 
four poles pole. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fancy, fancy chandelier, chandelier. Fancy bathroom. Yes. Spiders more likely in this one. And the tree branches kind of like webbing. I don't know. This one feels like a stretch for either. I don't know how to place that Fancy, one. fancy, man. Um, fancy, fancy. Iron working or fan this one I don't think fits this one at all. It's like it fancy. Could, it could be the entrance to the home, yes. Yeah. And you know what? That um, teddy bear's fancy. I think he's up, yo. And then fancy hat or knife on table. I've kind of talked myself back into this one. I don't know. Oh my god. This is up to chat. This is a tough one. Chat, what do you yeah, want to do? Yeah, we're choose? into the spider verse. That's the answer. Fancy dead area. I am rogue from Because this is the spider verse, in one universe, each of these is correct, so it doesn't matter which one we pick. We just have to make sure we're in the correct verse. Yes. <laughs> That's Absolutely. how that works, right? Okay. Shiny says the veranda. Okay. Daph, what would you choose? You guessed the dead area. Which I assume is veranda. The veranda. Sorry, That's guys. three votes for Veranda. I'm going to have to vote against you. It has to be fancy, fancy, fancy. But you guys chose... D Dan Lee just really, really wants it to it's be... It's totally fancy, fancy. Fancy pants with <coughs> that clue being Daft Cry. All right. So, uh, Jordan, would you like to vote for or against I I'm going to vote for because I have two check marks and an X left. So uh, that's the best way to spread them out. Okay. Chat, would you like to vote for or against Jordan? Keep in mind that if I am correct, this is your last chance to use a clairvoyance token in the whole game. Uh, Chat, you have three points. But if I'm wrong, you'll get another chance. I feel like I'm definitely the woman I think, statue. I think you should vote yes for this. I also would vote yes on myself. Sometimes I would vote no on myself, to be fairly honest. <laughs> okay, Daph says she will vote yes on Jordan. But I feel like clairvoyance tokens in this game are almost just like, it's a hedging your bets statistics thing as much as it but is if you don't use you it, believe in the person. Yeah, if you don't use it, yeah. then you're not investing. All right, we have two yeses, so Sounds good. chat's voting yes. All right, let's start with uh, chat. Oh, great spirit. Is chat incorrect with the vanguard end? Or is Daph crying? Don't cry for me, Daph Taru. I heard don't cry, so I think they were correct. I don't know. That's too hard for me to understand. Was that a yes? No. Yes! Oh, no! I knew no! it! It's fancy on fancy on fancy. Shit! Chat, That's it a, was fancy. Look at this fatty leaf. It was fancy. This also means that chat is going to have only one chance at getting the weapon correct because they have to spend next round guessing oh the obvious oh one. Boy. Oh All boy. Right. The last Jordan. <laughs> Shiny's calling an exorcist. Oh, great. Sorry, Daff. We'll get you. Guilty owes you a Kleenex. Oh, great ghost. Is Jordan we can correct make that happen. with the statue lady? <laughs> She's a lady. Is she a trans? Oh, whoa, whoa. Yes. Yay! Yes, got it right, and check, check gets a point. A point. We did it, chat. All right, how many points does chat have? Four. Five. Uh, I finished, so add two points to my score, which puts me at seven. Six. Oh, seven. Seven. <laughs> wow, cheater. Cheater much? I was drawing it in. It wasn't right. reflected on the and board now, yet. And now, we move on to the sixth round. Hey, Straw. Hi, We're in. Straw here. Because lols, uh, we all know what the answer is, which means Guilty can give us as many cards as she wants. <laughs> I like playing it this way. What? This is... She has to give, she's given us a clue. I know. But we know the answer. Yeah, sure. All right, chat. Based on the clue she's giving us, are we the bathroom or are we the bathroom? Do I have to give you clues for anything else? No. No, because I just finished. That's it? You will have to give clues for the weapons next uh... round. So you might want to save good weapon cards if you have them. 
Because you'll probably want to save your crow for the final round if you don't like what you have going into yeah. it. Yeah. Just as a pro tip. I'm going to show you this one because I like it. I think it's pretty. All right. Oh, how fancy. Fancy pants bear reading a book in the bathtub. But also, also this one. I think it's cute. Inside. And this one's also very cute. There's a there's a whole bunch of bunnies. Fancy pants ladder with bunnies Bunny. in the bathtub. This is actually uh, it's a instead of a bubble bath, it's a bunny bath, mm. which sounds adorable actually. Mm. When that, doesn't that sound adorable? It also bunny looks like bath? like bunny patronuses or not patronuses like yeah. the, the the thaw things from um, Harry Potter. That is patronus, isn't it? No, patronus is like the yeah uh, expecto patronum. Oh, is the ghost? Is, uh, yeah, so yes, yes. Patronus. But also yeah. looks like the thought stuff. I oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is chat's card. Now we move on to the final round. Oh, can I also got... can I also vote yes on chat's card and get one point? Oh, yeah. I also vote yes on chat's card and get a point. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, chat. Wait, this means I have to vote no on chat ah, on the last turn. Ah, success. Which is, could go badly, because if... Chat gets this wrong, we what? lose. Lose, lose. So we, all of us lose. Yeah, I'm like, a mod and I can't make people VIP. That's weird. No, only Tell chat Danley. owners can do that. Danley, you sign in. Let me do it. I can't do yeah. it. Yes, you can. I you can't. can on staff. Staff can't do it, actually. Staff can mod, though. Staff can yeah, mod, but, but staff can't, can't do VIP they either. Because VIP got built at a later time in Twitch history when things Twitch were built story? differently. It doesn't make sense, actually, to me. No, I, but I, I know why that is. I feel Twitch like, Twitch three. All right. All so right. chat. Also, I know everybody else said hi, but hello, Straw. Welcome mm. to the final round of the regular part of Mysterium, wherein chat tries to keep us from losing by guessing one of these four weapons. Hey! Thank you for the hundred bitties. Ooh, they're Unity biddies, even oh, better. Oh boy, okay, yeah. I'm this gonna so use my car oh, no. power. Oh no. Toss them all. Hey, it's worth it to keep us from losing. Hammer, vase, clock, or poison. We get one chance to get it right, and I'm gonna vote against it no matter what. It's the only clairvoyance token I have left. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I get to get rid of these clues. And then, then we'll get to talk about what comes next. Oh, no. we lose. I think it's going home. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean the final round. I'll explain how that works, which will be very fast. There's another round. Unless we lose. Shit. And if we lose, then it's over. And there is no final round. We just lose the game. Mm. Look at all these points, guys. Here. Can we transfer Here. points over? <laughs> <laughs> the points don't even matter. It's like who's lying? No. It's like who's lying. Is. The points don't matter to getting it right before the end of the round. It's glory. Yep. Woo woo, Seattle! You should hang out with Scott. Scott Scott? Scott. Stream Scott? Stream Scott. Scott's late Seattle. Scott? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. That's why he stopped being on the streams because he moved to Seattle. Well, also, but while okay. he still worked at Twitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long time ago. We miss him dearly. Are you talking about different Scots? I don't, I don't. I don't know. I only know one Scott connected to the stream. He played Nosh with us. You're thinking of Steve. Steve. Yeah. You haven't Steve. met Scott. Okay, no Scott. We raided him once, though. Oh, Scott. No, I don't know. He was Jeff. Prime Minister. Is Prime Minister. I'm just going to give you one card, because I think everything else is going to confuse it. All right, chat. Probably the we worst. get one clue. Don't mess it up. You get one shot, one opportunity. Uh -huh. Will you capture it, or just let it slip in this bathtub? We got Boatception here. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. It looks like Boats in a carved out thing of soap floating in water with rubber duckies and another boat. This stuff is also bad. Oh no. All right. I have two things it makes me think of, but I want to give chat a chance to think, think about mm. this before I 
poison their non thoughts. Non-rigged games. It's rectangular. So think about that. We got to get this right. There's bubbles. There's little duckies. Um, there's a big boat and a little boat. The big boat is on the water. The little boat is in a bathtub on top of the water. Yep, and it's a paddle boat. Daft thinks it's either the vase or poison. Okay. Anyone else have any ideas before me and Jordan give our two cents? It's shaped very close to that needle, which also has liquid in it. This is tough. All right, you want to go first, Stanley? I personally agree with uh, straw. I think the water and the needle, which would be the liquid inside the needle, is the closest thing that I can think of. Other than that, the vase would be something interesting because it might float on top of water. The clock has no relation, and the hammer has no relation as well. So I'm going to throw a wrench in it. Though you're all welcome to disagree with me and tell me I'm stupid. That's totally fair. But, uh, well, first of all, I definitely think the vase is possible because the vase could hold liquid. Mm -hmm. So it is a container. Mm -hmm. And we have the container, container which is the tub. Um, I also see both boats as sort of the shape of an upside down hammer. You have handles coming up out mm, of them. That's fair. That's fair. If we were to hold the boats upside down, it or would do like that, yeah, right. Hammers. So hammer, hammer, right? That was. I don't really see the needle that much. The base is white and possibly ceramic, like the bathtub. That's very true. I figured base for water, but the other answer seems correct too. So there's. Let's roll out the clock first. Let's yeah, look at that no one thought right. it was the clock, so we'll... I, well, should I just not say anything? Are we talking about the pinwheel? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, there is actually a tie for the clock. This clue could fit all four. Um, okay, let's go for the one that has the most to fit. So let's say the hammer is the... There's only one thing, which is... It looks like the boat when the boat is upside down. And yeah. there's two for the hammer because there's two boats. There's I mean, all but, you have to do is not to not let me win is get this wrong. And then the vase can hold water, also could be the same material as the bathtub. So there's right. also two Ceramic. things here. And then the needle has... Oh, there's also like water Sorry, droplets Jeff. painted on the vase. I, I, yes, but I feel like that's a stretch. I mean, it is a stretch, but I'm true, just trying to think true. of all the things. And the last no, one is, is the needle and the water <sighs> and poison. And I guess the the spout of the boats is a col column, kind of like the shape of the needle body. To me, the needle is my least needle, favorite. I think the needle being there, I would not give that as a clue. I figured that she may not have had a better option. I mean, she gave us a clue that we could find reasons for all four, which means that the rest of the hand was probably really, really bad. Um, I like the vase the most. I like the hammer the second most, and I personally don't think it's the needle. That is my thought. Jordan, what is your favorite guess and why is it the needle? <laughs> needle, because why not? The only thing I have for the needle would be the liquid. Can I just add one? No, we could leave it. It's fine. It's all right. Um, I mean, look, this is chat's guess, so if all of you think it's the needle, you don't have to override me. It's your guess. You just don't forget, I, Jordan's going to vote no against you no matter it's what. It's true. I have to vote <laughs> no against you, but that doesn't help. I want you to get it right. We do want you to get it right. This is a hard decision. I can't even catch Danley by you getting it wrong because he's too far ahead of me. I don't know. Vase seems 
the not overthinking it choice. It, yeah. I feel like that too, like the ceramic. For me, it would be vase number one, needle number two, hammer number three. And I'm vase, hammer, needle. My initial thought was vase. Okay. So we have a lot of people saying vase is their number one or their initial thought. <laughs> um, Guilty's waiting for a chance to stab you in the back with the needle. <laughs> uh, Straw, what did you vote for again? Straw was advocating for the needle. Was it for the needle? Yeah. Let's not overthink it. I think we should just go with the simplistic choice. You would guess the needle if it was... Well, I'll let chat work this out. Between Daph... Chat all says the needle, so I think that's the guess. Wait, what? No. Wait, what? what? Daph thinks it's all right. the vase. So vase is the not overthinking it choice. Shiny's initial thought was the yeah. vase. All right. Shiny, Daph, and Straw. There's three of you, which means we can break a tie. So I think the three of you should cast your vote, and that's what we're going with. Wait, Danley, where, in my opinion, is not all the options up there? There's a clock, because we all disregarded the clock right oh. away. Unless you guys think it's the clock. Or yeah. maybe it's the lack of everything. Maybe, maybe the clue was, you're going to spend so much time debating what the real answer uh, is, it's the clock. It's so meta. Yeah. Holy meta, 100%. Oh, all right, boy. we have votes for vase, two votes for vase. And negative Danley two. and my votes don't count, but they're also for vase. We're all, um, we're all losers here. Okay, we all go down, um, down together. Now, I mean, all right. I'm going to lock it in on vase. I'm also going to say that uh, from a meta standpoint, I now think it was needle because Guilty was really excited to announce that we had all voted on needle. No, um, I'm just so. saying that because it's 929 no, and we uh, wrap at 930. Vase. Oh. Yes. Oh, great spirit. Is it the vase? <sighs> That's not good. No. Rip, was it the needle? No. Was it the hammer? No. It was, was the, the clock? clock? Yes! Was it the pinwheel? Okay, so I thought, firstly, the rest of the cards, you can see them are pretty bad. I thought that this uh, smokestack looked like these four little things on the sides uh, of the clock. Well, I thought the bubbles were circular, like the face of the clock. We got wrecked. And we got wrecked. the like the three different, you know, boat things. It was were totally kind of the paddle right. wheel. Sort right? of the paddle wheel. I was right. That was anyway. Wrong. <laughs> all right. Here are the other options. Wait, I get a point then. You do get a they point. They do get wrong. a point. Yes. <laughs> Who were, what were the other clue options? Okay, so the other clue options are... A cannon? This cannon, which I thought was clearly the hammer because there's hammered steel here and mm. a wheel here. Oh, that would have actually helped me do clock because really? of the circular well, wheel. Yeah, maybe. The I circular mean, wheel. That's the one I was thinking of adding, but look at this. Wood, wood, metal, metal. Mm. You know, like clearly these were made in the same sort of shop. List I don't think helps anything. <laughs> yeah. It's time. It's the time mm, turtle. Is it, though? Maybe. This has animals on it, so I thought that would sway you towards the vase. Same with these little flowers. Yeah, the that flowers would definitely, definitely would be the vase. This one I didn't think was necessarily anything, but the cute little shell and I the thought flower was like the could vase. It, yeah. Everything Man. looked like vase, and then... Everything was coming up vases. This didn't really look like anything. Paddle wheel! <laughs> mm, that was a tough one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's rough. Man. Yeah, sorry, Chad. Well, okay. You tried, so, you tried. So, we're not going to play the final round, but I'm going to explain very, very briefly how it would have worked. Now, once we had gotten them all correct with the chat having the clock, we would have laid out the three murders mm -hmm. that we had, and Guilty would have privately picked which murder was her murder. Ooh. You would have gotten to choose, and then you would have given us th exactly three cards as clues, where one card tied to each of the three cards in the murder, and we would have all had to privately... Can we try that? I mean, we can. Yeah, let's try yeah, it. Yeah, I know really who quickly. I am. Okay, so... Let's do that. Um, do not show us the cards, just hand them face down when you have the three. Okay, so just to review the review the Three murders. cards total. Three cards total. So as murders, we have 
Uh, oh. Go ahead. We had Sweeney Todd, who was murdered in the cellar. No, he was the murderer. Oh, he's the murderer. Okay. Oh, yes. yes? Sweeney Todd yeah. is Oops. the murderer. Yeah, the people are who got murdered, or who murdered, because uh, you He performed the murder yeah. in the cellar oh. with a gun. Because you're trying to solve someone else's murder, so you would never have to guess who the victim okay. was, right? Um, I have the saber dude in the pool with the statuette. It's in there. And chat. You were the doctor who murdered someone inside the fancy bathroom with a fancy clock. All right, and we're going to lay these out as I am number one, chat is number two, and Danley is number three. And we're going to vote with the numbers on the back of our clairvoyance tokens. Now, is that what that's for? That is what that's for. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, do not show us the clues, but when you have them ready, go ahead and hand them to me. Okay. All right. So now, because chat only got four points, they only get to see one clue oh, and boy. have to choose who they're voting for before the other two are revealed. Oh, Danley boy. and I, because we got at least seven points, get to see all three clues. And they're randomly shuffled. So you will see one clue and not know which card it's giving a clue for. So you're gonna have to basically decide whose murder it was based off a single card. So chat, here is your clue. You got some sort of demon with axes and a rope and some cones. So you have Saber Dude, Pool, and Statuette. So wait, we're voting for who Guilty's murderer is? Yes, we're voting for which of these murders she chose as the real murder. You and I can't give any suggestions. It is silent voting, so chat can go ahead and place their vote. We will not look. Uh, well, yeah. It, we'll have Guilty look. Yeah, we, we're we not gonna read chat anymore. Guilty's gonna read it, um, because Dan and I aren't allowed to know chat's deliberations. Oh, we'll just help describe the cards. Chats. So we have, sorry, let me get it's this me. off to the side so everyone can see it. We have the um, doctor in the fancy bathtub with the clock. And finally, we have Sweeney Todd in the cellar with the gun. Now, the way this is going to work is we, assuming chat had gotten that last guess right and we were actually playing this for real, we would win the game on majority vote. So uh, if, a, if a majority of people picked the correct one, then we would win. So mm. chat will win. And no guilty, guilty can let us know when chat so has come to a decision or majority. Um, and then, I am your host. Are those three are you, you actually, you and I can start looking at these and thinking so that we cut short the deliberation so time. Are these two the. These are two more clues that help okay, us with the murder that chat vote, isn't vote, allowed vote, to see. Vote, vote. And we don't know what order they're in because it's shuffled. And we also cannot deliberate. Oh. Yeah, feel free to show them cards again if they need to see stuff or whatever. Like the people. doesn't help at all. Yeah, it didn't help. It gets very crowded. What if I, uh... This is a lot. It's a lot to put on well, screen. What are the options again? All right. Okay, I'll go over the options if you guys Here. want to. You can kind of do two on this side. Right? And then one like that. Okay. So... The doctor had the swimming pool, right? Uh... No. 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 This Scottish guy. guy. Swim... Yeah, that's why I was pulling them one at a time. So swimming they pool. Statue. Right, they were the doctor, right? And you yeah. Were just tell. Okay. Or doctor. And keep in mind, the clue Statue. that chat has right now will basically Statue. only apply to one of these nine cards. Then you kind of have to figure it out. Sweeney Todd. Basement. Revolver. 
Let us know when chat's locked in and we'll... Oh, here's your tokens back. Do we need them? Uh, you just pick oh. the number that you think it is. One, two, three. I'm going to just lay chats out here um, since they're going to tell us they're about the chat three. so that we remember which number they are. A two. A one. Um, okay. This is tough. Okay, chat's got their vote in. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and reveal. I'm going to try and not look at chat too close. I'm just going to get these on camera. The other two clues are a vampire waking up and his uh, skeleton dog, and then uh, an organ with fog and stuff around it. Um, This is tough. This is really tough. Insert straw here. I like the way you think. This is very spooky music right now. It's intense. <laughs> right, I don't want to deliberate too long. Um, All right, I should have maybe made my choice. Okay, go ahead and just place it out face down. Um, wait, wait. Place it face down so I can't see it because I haven't so decided yet. How does that work? Just, like, no, just like, pledge. just like take, just take all of them, oh. hide the ones you don't pick, and then put one face down oh, just in front of us, okay. so that I know which one you pick that associates with the correct number. Hmm. Um, I think. Hmm. I'm very much not sure of this at all. Um, oh, can I have chats? Can you have chats? Oh, yeah, to, so I can vote yeah. for them? Yes, go ahead. You know their vote? Yes. I have a feeling we're going to get this wrong, but I put my vote in. I'm very unsure. I'm hopeful in that I read guilty correctly. All right, ready? All right. Three, two, We have voted for. Or chat has voted for. Chat has voted for number one. Uh -oh. Wait, that's not chat. Well, yeah, it, chat is black. Uh, yeah, wait, yep, you you're right. Chat, chat was correct. black. Okay. Yep, okay. chat okay. wanted sword and pool guy. Cool. I voted for number two. Danley voted for number three. <laughs> wait, wait, what? That's not the right one. <laughs> did, what did you mean? I wanted to vote one. Oh. Okay. The sword in the pool? Oh, sword in the pool, yeah. <laughs> no, I specifically, I, okay. I thought I chose one. But uh, no. All right. <laughs> oh, great spirit. Is it saber dude in a pool with a statuette? No. No? Damn it. Is it doctor in fancy room with clock? No. Damn it. it was oh, it was Todd. Sweeney Todd? My, that, was my, so, that was my second guess. Shit. The reason why is like the eyes. The demon barber of Fleet Street. In a basement. That's with a his basement. own That's theme outside. song. That's outside. All right, well, I didn't have a basement, all right? Sue and me. where's the pistol? I didn't even have time for the pistol. Here, right there. That's your pistol. Right there, OK? See, I, I was like, you made such a big deal about taking pillars oh, of things to match the clock. Yeah, so been. I was like, uh, smokestack is the clock. And then I was I like, know, I was like, he's coming this? out of a coffin, which is kind of like a bathtub. And then I had no idea on the doctor, but I already okay. had to. Coming out so of the, my bathtub? My, my thought here was the mustache. So hey, I had to be a mustache man. Budget vampires live in bathtubs. Uh, the do uh, they the really? bladed weapon because of the do axe. They really? And it's a then good chef. I guess the pillars. Oh, it's a good guess, man. chat, but we were but all there's wrong. There's also boats here. Uh, the boats also with the pool. Yeah. So, chat, you were screwed by, by that being the one you yes. got. I was really on the uh, on the, the on the clue. fence the about eyes, including the, the really slicey thing, <sighs> but the yeah. eyes. The eyes yeah. were good. I was wanting to go for the uh, eyes. Too. Well, but the mustache confused me. We so lost, much. and then we lost I'm sorry, again. Sorry, you're That's so confused. It's okay. So we did not solve <laughs> Guilty's murder. No, we did not, not figure out who the murderer was. It was Sweeney Todd. 
Yeah. The swing is hot. All right, well. And he got away with it. He did. Since this is our. Does anyone have pie emotes? Since this was our spoopy week, uh, no need to really do a game review. But, Danley, if you want to give a few quick thoughts on the game, having played it for the first time, feel free. You don't have to do, like, sections or categories yeah. or anything. I felt like the game needed some sort of timer when we decided on certain things. We definitely <laughs> deliberated on yeah, things a little bit. I think it comes much. with a timer. This, that's definitely basically, I think the, the ghost has that as an option if they think people are deliberating too long. Timer. We should have used the timer. We probably should have. We should have used the timer. Um, the only downside to using the timer is that we have added time because we have to deliberate with chat. That's and fine. All I mean, cards. I think we should give that leeway with chat, but yeah. not necessarily with you and me. It's really rough. Yeah. Um, the other portion is uh, I feel bad for the ghost, in this case, guilty, which they couldn't really do too, too much. I think the timer would have helped, which would have moved the game along quicker for you. Um, True. But it wouldn't have helped with us guessing correctly. Yeah. <laughs> The... I mean, Danley beasted. I beasted on the. I beasted. Yeah, it's I. I true. just. I went straight Danley out. Danley kicked it in the butt. Um. Yeah. I think the cards and everything look really pretty. I think it works well. I don't understand the point of that little piece right there with the Which point piece? counter. Yeah, this? the point counter. So oh. normally you have little markers that you move along as you uh, keep score. This I is see. how you keep score. It has numbers on it. Um, we just weren't using it because it was easier not to. But overall, I think it was fun to like think about how. I bet if we could have guilty, opened up Guilty's actual brain and looked inside. Yeah, Ooh. it's like, uh, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming it's like we had to think about what Guilty is thinking. And then as Guilty is listening to both of us think, she's also thinking about yeah. what would make sense the, uh, make the most sense for Jordan, what right. would make sense for Danley, yeah. and what would make sense for the most for chat. Mm. Ghost is hard, but fun. But I'm, all, hard. I'm, all, I'm all about the meta. Yeah. Just do more meta stuff for me. I did, and you didn't even get it. No, I missed it. I was true. daft crying. That really worked really well. Yeah, right, I did. I said it was the Royals. <laughs> but they all voted against. Well, they were fools. We appreciate everyone who came in and joined us tonight for spoopy stream number one of Guiltober. If you are watching live, stick around for a quick post show in just a few moments. But for now, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, guys.